Chapter 1801 A Stroke of Good Fortune Translator Born to be in one day, Long Chen had slain Dishan and Xiang Yunfei, that had shaken the continent. During the past three days, Hu Jinying had taken a trip through the various large sects and demanded them to declare their positions. Unfortunately, the results were the exact opposite of what she had expected. Some sects were saying that the Martial Heaven Alliance was too chaotic now, and so they were intending to leave. The righteous sects in the eastern and southern Xuan region, in particular, were displaying great dissatisfaction with the Martial Heaven Alliance. They said that it was a dictatorship, and the alliance was a weapon controlled by Ku Jinying and Long Chen. Long Chen was barbaric and bloodthirsty, while Ku Jinying actually pampered him and allowed him to do as he wished. He drew enemies from all around, and if this continued, sooner or later the Martial Heaven Alliance would be torn apart. When Ku Jinying heard them say such things, she had an urge to kill people. Just what bastard had started these rumors? Most hateful of all, many sects used the banner of opposing Long Chen to threaten her. If she refused to expel Long Chen and the Zhuanchen Dao sect from the Martial Heaven Alliance, they would leave instead, under the lead of the East and the South. The remaining regions also had tens of thousands of sects band together to criticize her. As they spoke up, countless other sects began to sway in the wind. They didn't say that they supported her, and they didn't say that they were against her either. It's clear that Pill Valley is up to their tricks again. No one else has such power to rally supporters. Only Pill Valley has the ability to promise those sects that leaving the alliance won't cause them to immediately become targets of the corrupt path. Pill Valley started laying down the foundation for their plans years ago. Their claws stretched into the interior of the Martial Heaven Alliance, and although you noticed them and eliminated them mercilessly, it seems it's already a bit too late. If the Great Era hadn't come, your methods most likely would have been effective, but with the Great Era, the hearts of the large sects are getting ambitious. The change in eras will completely change the board. The cultivation world will look completely different in the end. Hence, this is the worst era that's filled with cruel competitions where the strong devour the weak. But it is also the best era. The small can suddenly soar and become giants. Perhaps a third-rate sect can even become a supreme sect. So everyone is ambitious and easily seduced by opportunities to grow stronger. Even if Pill Valley wasn't actively seducing them, some of those fellows would still be drawn away from you. Of course, some are devoted to you and prefer stability. Those sects all have some foundation so they don't need to take the risk of betting. However, there is a good saying, barefoot people aren't afraid of people with shoes. People with nothing to lose don't mind going all in. So many smaller sects that have been kept underfoot, or perhaps large sects whose inheritances are about to be severed, are all willing to bet everything on this era. You don't need to get angry with them over this. This is something that follows every great era. Which great era didn't end with rivers of blood flowing, comforted Long Chen. Hu Jinying was surprised by his words. She had been focused on the fact that it had been Pill Valley sowing dissension, but she had forgotten the true main point, the people's hearts. It was because she hadn't understood why these people would act so foolishly that she was so angry. Long Chen, do you have a method to change our current predicament probe Hu Jinying? I do. Really? What is it? Kill them all. Brat, you dare to toy with me, raged Hu Jinying. How am I toying with you? Why is it that the corrupt path has no traitors? Because they have terrifying punishments that are worse than death, so their people don't dare to betray them. Long Chen shrugged. Then if we acted like this, wouldn't we be no different from the corrupt path? The Martial Heaven Alliance is just an alliance. As long as they don't betray the righteous path and seek shelter in the corrupt path. We don't have the right to punish them, said Ku Jinying. Then I don't have a solution. It's their mouths, and they can say whatever they want. It's also their brains, and you can't control what they're thinking. You're just hurting yourself by getting angry, sighed Long Chen. HMPH, little brat, if you don't give me an explanation about what you just said, you won't be leaving here without a beating. I should warn you that I know all the old man's moves as well. Hu Jinying glared at Long Chen. Long Chen smiled. I naturally can explain it. The Martial Heaven Alliance is a simple cooperation for the sake of everyone's benefit. With everyone's power collected, 
It allows people to feel safer. If someone doesn't want to feel safe here and goes somewhere else, let them go. What does their life and death have to do with us? All you need to do is look after the people who are always loyal. As for those people who leave, if they are abandoned and want to come back, just tell them to screw off. Long Chen's meaning was clear. They wanted to leave, and they were adults. They could take responsibility for their own actions. If you do well, we won't get jealous. But if you don't do well, don't come crying to us. You no longer have anything to do with us. To leave at the most critical time is a betrayal in and of itself. But, there are no bots. This is what it means when people say compassion cannot lead troops. Long Chen's words are completely correct. As a leader, you must bring out your resolution, said Yan Nanshan. Long Chen's thinking is identical to us four old fellows. Some people are so foolish that not even a god can save them. You will never be able to wake up everyone. So wasting the time and effort will only make you feel distressed. Furthermore, being distracted by that will lead to errors in judgment for your loyal followers. To save a few foolish people, are you going to let those loyal to you die? Don't you feel that's very foolish? Grand Uncle Master, I understand. Hujin Ying sighed inside. What she needed right now was to not be indecisive. She needed to be domineering and daring. Yan Nanshan nodded. When we told you to demand those sects declare their positions, we expected this result. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Remember those loyal to you. Protecting them is our duty. Even if we have to lose our lives, it'll be worth it. As for those who have rebelled and those opportunists, just directly abandon them. Kick them out of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Hu Jin Ying was startled. Grand Uncle Master, that's a bit too arbitrary, isn't it? It had to be known that in the Martial Heaven Alliance, although there was only 10% who openly challenged and tried to threaten her, a total of 30% of the sects were still waiting to see how things turned out. If that 30% was also kicked out, it would be a huge blow to the Martial Heaven Alliance's power. With so many people kicked out, the Righteous Path sects would become sparser and more open to the Corrupt Path's attacks. They might be quickly annihilated. Don't worry about it. The corrupt path will definitely not attack us before things are clear, said Yan Nanshan. Why is that? Long Chen was the one who replied. Because the corrupt path won't let Pill Valley get so arrogant, as that's not favorable to them. If they attack us, it will cause more sects to join Pill Valley, and that's not what they want to see. There is a deep enmity between the righteous path and the corrupt path. As more righteous sects adhere themselves to Pill Valley, Pill Valley will naturally be biased toward the Righteous Path. With Pill Valley's support, the Righteous Sects that join them and have money, will definitely launch their own attacks on the Corrupt Path. In that case, the Pill Valley that was neutral will have become an alliance of the Righteous Path. Wouldn't the Corrupt Path be doomed then? Hence, the Corrupt Path is probably also panicking and just watching. They won't make a move rashly. Once you, the head of the Martial Heaven Alliance, Make a move. A chain reaction will follow throughout the continent. This is the opportunity to wash away the sand and leave behind only the gold. This is your chance to see who is worthy of your trust. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen. This head of yours is not bad. One of the Grand Elders actually praised Long Chen. The other Grand Elders nodded. Despite being so young, his vision was sharp. What a little monster. But if you're so smart, why do you always do stupid things? demanded Hu Jinying. When it came to cunningness, Long Chen was basically on the same level as these four wily foxes. Because there are many problems that intelligence can't solve, and the more you try, the more indecisive you become. The opportunities in the cultivation world are fleeting. By the time you finish thinking, those opportunities will be snatched by others. So just like the old man, I like saying that in front of absolute power, all intelligence is nonsense, said Long Chen. Master, Yi Lingxin pulled on Ku Jinying uneasily. Don't compare yourself to this fellow. He's a freak. As the alliance head, intelligence is one aspect, but charisma is the most important factor, and you have it. Of course that's why I'm willing to let you take my place, comforted Ku Jinying. She saw that Yi Lingxin had been given a blow. Long Chen possessed such vision. While she was a far cry from reaching that level, don't worry, no matter how intelligent or strong he is, 
he will be your subordinate. If he doesn't listen to you, just tell me. Hu Jinying glared at Long Chen. Cough. I've been away long enough. I'll return back to the Zhuanshan Dao sect to see my brothers. Long Chen stood up. Don't be in a rush yet. Stay for another couple days, and you might receive a stroke of good fortune, said Yan Nanshan Novelun.com CM. Chapter 1802 Danger Zone Yin Yang World Translator Born to be good fortune, Long Chen was surprised. There were more benefits beyond just the Paragon Art Inheritance? Yes, good fortune. Just yesterday, a manifestation of immortal mist appeared in the northern part of the central Xuan region where the yin-yang world is. That's a sign that the yin-yang world is about to open, said Yan Nanshan. What's the yin-yang world? I feel like I've heard of it, asked Long Chen. Yan Nanshan explained, it is one of the seven great danger zones. However, back in the ancient era, there were only four danger zones, Devil Spirit Mountain, the yin-yang world, the ancient battlefield, and the corrupt god cemetery. As for the heaven-devouring forest, the martial heaven sea ring, and the resentful death city. People later added them to the danger zones because they felt that they were very terrifying. The heaven devouring forest is gone now, and resentful death city isn't a place outsiders can enter. As for the martial heaven sea ring, it is dangerous, but as long as you don't provoke the truly terrifying existences within it, it's still quite safe. However, the four original danger zones are truly forbidden to enter. I heard you've already gone to Devil Spirit Mountain and so you've seen the Sovereign Blood Seal. The Yin Yang World and the Corrupt God Cemetery also have Sovereign Blood Seals present. As for the ancient battlefield, no one really knows because it's too dangerous to probe its secrets. The Corrupt God Cemetery isn't a place we can go. It hides the Corrupt Path secrets, and even their own people aren't allowed in. So ignoring the other danger zones, let us discuss the Yin Yang World. The yin-yang world was actually a very mysterious existence. Its origins were unclear, but rumor was that it was a channel between two worlds, one yang and one yin. Due to their influence, there were some terrifying life forms inside. There were legends of demonic beasts appearing, precious medicines littering the ground, and priceless treasures for everyone. Each time a great era came, the world would open. It was said that every generation of sovereigns had entered the yin-yang world and some legends said that the sovereigns had left behind paragon arts within for those destined for their inheritances. Some also said that the yin-yang world was a corner of the immortal world, and the secret to becoming a god or immortal lay within. Thus, each time the yin-yang world appeared, it would draw countless experts. Long Chen, you and Ling Shen should prepare yourselves. I will send you in allowing you to get one step ahead in the yin-yang world and increase your chances of gaining some priceless treasures, said Yan Nanshan. Just the two of us, asked Ji Lingshan. Yes, the yin-yang world is filled with danger. The various powers in this world will send their strongest disciples in right at the start. A fight is inevitable, so if others entered, they would just be sending themselves to their deaths, said Yan Nanshan. Yi Lingshan was startled by this. In the entire Martial Heaven Alliance, only she and Long Chen were qualified to enter? Just how terrifying was this Yin Yang world? Then can I tell my brothers about this? I think that my brothers are all qualified to enter, said Long Chen. Of course you can. However, they will need to wait until the Yin Yang world fully opens before they can enter. Other than that, you should think it through. You have many enemies, and if they can't kill you, they'll naturally target the people around you, warned Yan Nanshan. I understand. However, my brothers are definitely tough. I'm not worried, said Long Chen confidently. The current Dragonblood Legion was no longer the old Dragonblood Legion. With Guo Ran and Xia Chen's armaments, they had reached an even more terrifying level. All right, then I'll tell Jin Ying to see them. The two of you, come with me. Yan Nanshan waved his hand and space trembled fiercely. Long Chen and Yi Lingxian felt their surroundings become illusory. There was a spatial channel in front of them that was filled with life and death energy. Long Chen felt like he had entered a crack within space time. Under Yan Nanshan's lead, the three of them quickly flew through the channel. Suddenly, space time split apart and Long Chen saw a new scene. There were a pile of mountains ahead, but they were shrouded in mist. 
Spiritual chi was so dense that it was like a wonderland. However, these mountains looked both far and close. Sometimes they were clear, and sometimes they were hazy. It was like they were fading in and out of reality. Before the mountains was a giant gate. This gate was also not entirely real. It was constantly shuddering, and a powerful divine might was coming out of it. Seeing this gate, Long Chen's heart shook. He sensed a familiar aura from this gate. This is a sovereign seal, asked Long Chen. Correct. This gate was left behind by the third generation sovereign, Mo Li. It is here to suppress the life forms within so that they cannot come out, said Yan Nanshan. When Yan Nanshan mentioned sovereign Mo Li, he was filled with respect. Sovereigns were supreme existences. No matter how high a person's cultivation base grew or how strong they became, people still had to feel great respect and gratitude toward the sovereigns. Their position might even be higher than God's. Because Long Chen had been in contact with the sovereign blood seal in Devil Spirit Mountain as well as Evil Moon Seal, he immediately recognized the aura of a sovereign. When it came to the sovereigns, everyone that Long Chen had encountered would be filled with reverence toward them no matter how great their seniority was or how arrogant they were. That made Long Chen sigh emotionally. Sovereigns were the true experts. Long Chen was about to ask what generation the Devil Spirit Mountain Sovereign was when he suddenly noticed that quite a few people were already waiting in front of the gate. Yan Nanshan, Long Chen, and Yi Lingshan drew quite a bit of attention when they arrived. These people's gazes concentrated on Long Chen. They were staring daggers at him. Long Chen sighed inside. It seemed his bad luck was flaring again. The first person that drew his attention was an extremely large man with a curly beard. This person's neck and head had scales, and his beard was actually growing out of the scales. His pupils were vertical like those of a viper. Just being looked at by him would make a person get goosebumps. His gaze was so terrifying that it was enough to almost make a person's soul flee in terror. He was sitting on the ground, but he was still taller than a normal person who was standing. There was no aura coming from him, but the space around him was constantly twisting. It was unknown what power he possessed that was causing this spatial oddity. Behind this large man was a white-haired elder. He was sitting in meditation, and no one dared to disturb him. As he breathed, two bursts of flames extended and retracted from his nostrils. A strong smell of fire hung in the air. This elder was definitely a terrifying nether passage expert. Long Chen could already sense a fatal danger from him. He also recognized his identity, a Xuan beast. Only the Xuan beasts could have such powerful physical bodies and such auras. Other than the large man with his elder, he saw seven other elders from whom he sensed immense pressure. They were clearly also nether passage experts. Each of them had brought one or two young disciples with them whose cultivation bases were at the peak of soul transformation. Their auras were extremely powerful, and they were all elites. These disciples stared coldly at Long Chen. Some of them didn't even bother to hide their killing intent. Amongst these young disciples, three were from the Xuan beasts, five were from the ancient races, and there were also two humans. However, based on their gazes, the two of them were very likely from the ancient family alliance. Their gazes were clearly hostile. How unlucky. They're all enemies. There's not one friend. Fuck. There's not even a single neutral person. Long Chen was speechless inside. Had he really reached the point where everyone in this world was his enemy? Yi Lingxian was also a powerful expert in her own right. But being stared at by so many people made her uncomfortable. She sensed a powerful pressure from each of these people. This pressure she felt was around the same level as the pressure Xiang Yunfei had given her. Perhaps all these people were on Xiang Yunfei's level, or not much weaker. She naturally tensed up upon seeing so many experts looking their way. However, Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit tense or even angry in the face of their hostility. You should be Long Chen. Correct that large sitting man stood up. He was a giant, standing at 10 meters tall like an iron tower. He gave off immense pressure. Yes, I am. You don't need to stand to greet me though. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating that there was no need to be so polite. Novaloon.com Yi Lingxian was speechless. Just how did Long Chen's head work? That person was filled with killing intent. So how was he being courteous? The corners of that large man's mouth lifted. 
pulling on the scales on his face. It looked bizarre, but based on human standards, it seemed like a sneer. I am true immortal Jiaoki. You should know of me. Yi Lingxin was startled. She clearly knew of him. He had gotten into the top 10 of the Devil Slaughter rankings. This true immortal Jiaoki was a descendant of the ancient Drake and Divine Kilin. He possessed two terrifying bloodlines and was incredibly powerful. Anyone who had fought against him was killed. Most terrifying of all, all those enemies that had been slain by him were eaten as well. It didn't matter if they were from the human race, the ancient races, or the Xuan beasts. As long as he defeated them, their ultimate fate was to be eaten by him. Long Chen nodded with comprehension. Ah, so you're that idiot who left me a message on the Devil Slaughter rankings. Looking at your face, I understand that you must be the result of inbreeding. Tell me, was your father your mother's cousin? Long Chen had just finished speaking when true immortal Jiaoki smashed a fist at him. The world rumbled as it went straight for Long Chen's head. Chapter 1803 Yan Nanshan Sword Translator Born to be true immortal Jiaoki had suddenly attacked without paying the slightest attention to Yan Nanshan who was standing beside Long Chen. His fist contained a strange energy. It was like the world was being torn apart by it. True immortal Jiaoki was 10 meters tall. He was a giant, and Long Chen had no opportunity to counterattack because his arms and legs just weren't long enough. Boom. Long Chen also let out a punch, and ripples exploded in the air. The two of them were both forced dozens of meters back. Long Chen was startled. This true immortal Jiaoki's power was very strange. It didn't seem to be purely physical strength, but it also wasn't supported by some magical art. He couldn't exactly describe what kind of power this was. However, he clearly felt that this was just a probing blow. True immortal Jiaoki had not used his full power. No wonder you were able to kill Xiang Yunfei. Good. Once we enter the Yin Yang world, I'll make sure you end up in different worlds for the rest of eternity. True immortal Jiaoki's emotionless vertical eyes looked at Long Chen like a viper staring at its prey. Yan Nanshan just stood there without saying anything. As for Yi Lingxian, she was uneasy. This true immortal Jiaoki's name was too resounding. He was known for being terrifyingly powerful. Long Chen swung his slightly numb hand and shook his head. His enmity with the Xuan beasts had originated from the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. Last time, they had tormented Cloud not because she was part of the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow but because of Menki's myriad spirit diagram. The myriad spirit diagram was something he had obtained in the Four Nations ancient remnant. It was a priceless treasure left behind by an ascender. There was a complete inheritance of 10,000 beasts within it. In this declined era, many of those inheritances had been lost. The Xuan beasts in particular had lost a great deal of their inherited divine abilities due to their bloodlines growing too sparse. But those inheritances could be found within the myriad spirit diagram. Cloud was the best example. Her growth was entirely thanks to the Myriad Spirit Diagram. So it was a must-have treasure for the Xuan beasts. Back when Cloud's mother had entrusted Cloud to Long Chen and Meng Chi, she had warned them that they would be implicated. But the two of them still accepted Cloud. As Cloud had grown stronger, she had helped the Dragonblood Legion turn around fights multiple times. She was an important force in the Dragonblood Legion and was part of their family. Whether it was because they had tormented Cloud or because they wanted Menki's myriad spirit diagram, Long Chen was fated to be mortal enemies with the Xuan beasts. As for this true immortal Jiaoki in particular, he had left behind a message on the Devil Slaughter rankings, claiming that Long Chen had cheated and was despicable. He had said that he would cut off Long Chen's head as soon as he saw him. That was a naked provocation. Although Long Chen had brushed it off back then, he still remembered it. So as soon as he learned that this giant was true immortal Jiaoki, he knew things wouldn't be boring. Many people said similar things, but in the end, they all died. Long Chen shook his head. He felt like he had passed the age of needing to say vicious words to raise his own loftiness. You're even more ignorant than I thought. If you fall into brother Jiaoki's hands, you will beg for death. Another expert from the Xuan beast sneered at Long Chen. He had two golden horns on his head, and his eyes were like a bull's. On top of that, he had a flat nose and extremely large arms. 
There seemed to be wriggling snakes beneath his skin. His blood chi was astounding. Long Chen looked over this person. He nodded. Not bad. Not bad. Your fit and your body can be described as perfect. Yes. The quality of your meat is definitely suitable for my brother. You're courting death. Roared that expert. All right. Don't make such a fuss. In front of the senior generation. Just saying some vicious words is meaningless. Don't worry. Once we enter the yin-yang world, you can come find me at any time. Depending on my mood, I might even go find you. We can happily kill each other. Just how much more satisfying would that be than just glaring and talking here, said Long Chen. Everyone here was his mortal enemy, so he couldn't be bothered to waste the effort talking to them. With the senior experts present, the most they could do was launch probing blows at each other. It was impossible to kill anyone. Long Chen wasn't interested in testing their power. When he fought, he had one goal, and that was to eliminate his opponent, who was bored enough to play this game with them. All right, then let's just wait. Hopefully, you don't run right into Brother Jiaoki right at the start, or you'll die too quickly for us to enjoy your appearance right before death. We'll make sure to release how you look before death to everyone. The first place of the Devil Slaughter rankings is actually just a piece of Pownavaloon.com before the horned expert could finish speaking. Long Chen seemed to teleport, appearing right in front of him and slapped him in the face. A loud explosive sound mixed with the sound of bones breaking rang out. That expert's cheekbones were broken and his head caved in. I already said not to make such a fuss. Do you not understand human words? Long Chen borrowed the force from slapping this expert to return. He had been like a phantom, and by the time others reacted, things were already over. Yi Lingxian had jumped in shock upon seeing Long Chen charge into the midst of their enemies and had just been preparing to help when Long Chen returned. The horned expert slammed into a distant mountain and bore a hole straight through it. It could be seen how much power Long Chen had used in his slap. Little brat, you must want to die. The horned expert's elder, who also had a pair of golden horns on his head, suddenly rose. Golden light exploded out of his horns, shooting toward Long Chen like a golden sword. When that golden sword appeared, Long Chen felt the world solidify around him and he couldn't move. He could only watch as that death sword approached him. However, there wasn't the slightest panic in his eyes. He didn't even try to block or dodge it. He just calmly looked at that elder and slowly raised his two middle fingers. Snick. A-H-H just as that golden sword was about to reach Long Chen, Yi Lingxian's sword came out of its sheath. It not only shattered the golden sword, but a sharp sword chi also slashed off one of that elder's horns, causing him to scream. The sword light appeared for just an instant before it was over. Yan Nanshan slowly resheathed Yi Lingxian's sword, his expression calm. He didn't say a thing. It was as if he had done an insignificant thing. However, his attack had stunned everyone. All the Nether Passage experts stared at him with disbelief. You. You're actually. They suddenly thought of something very terrifying. Yan Nanshan indifferently said. The Great Era has descended. You're not the only ones rising. Others are as well. So it would be best if you reserve yourselves a bit. Just at this moment, a giant horn landed on the ground. That was the horn that Yan Nanshan had severed. It only landed now. Ha ha ha. Many thanks. Grand Elder. What great luck. A bullhorn this big can be manufactured to many combs. And not just combs. But even bracelets. Rings. Clappers. Yes. This can definitely be turned into some good profit. Long Chen had appeared in front of the horn at some point. He was caressing it as he spouted nonsense. This was a nether passage expert's horn. And not just that, this was a horn in which that expert's divine abilities were concentrated. It possessed its own powerful runes and was on the same level as an ordinary divine item. Long Chen didn't quite care about a quasi-divine item in comparison, but this thing was definitely useful. Without a word, Long Chen put the horn away, taking advantage of when people were still stunned by Yan Nanshan's attack. He then quickly returned to Yan Nanshan's side. Bastard. Return my horn, that elder roared. His divine abilities were concentrated in his horns, so losing a horn was half crippling him. He would be unable to use many divine abilities. This horn was connected to his soul, so it should have been impossible for others to take it just like that. 
He had no idea how Long Chen had done it, but he actually lost his connection to his horn when Long Chen put it away. It was like it had vanished from this world. Don't you think your words are a joke? Why would we return our battle spoils? When the Xuan beasts kill others, do you return their lives back to their families? Asked Long Chen disdainfully. At this moment, true immortal Jiaoki's elder opened his mouth. Yan Nanshan, don't you think you're going too far? The Xuan beast's divine abilities cannot be allowed to spread to the outside world. That golden horn had divine runes on it. If others controlled it, they would be able to unleash its divine abilities. It would become a divine item. Although it would just be a quasi-divine item that the large powers wouldn't care too much about. The main thing was that it was a humiliation for the Xuan beasts. Just cutting off one of your horns is going too far? Are you idiots? Just now. That horned bull tried to kill me, but you didn't say that was going too far. All I did was slap a calf, and this old bull, a grand nether passage expert, attacked me, a soul transformation disciple. Why didn't you say that this was far too? I really wonder sometimes if the only thing in your heads is crap. Do you even think before speaking? Sneered Long Chen. The Xuan beasts really had a beast's head. That elder's expression sank and he was about to speak when Yan Nanshan opened his mouth first. Long Chen is correct. If you don't like it, then attack. Some things can't be resolved with words. It just so happens that my Martial Heaven Alliance is looking for an opportunity to show our power. Eliminating a few Nether Passage experts should be quite effective when Yan Nanshan said this. Those Nether Passage experts' expressions changed. Chapter 1843 Realms of Nether Passage Life Death, and Samzara Translator, born to Benevaloon.com Yan Nanshan's words were very light. They didn't contain any anger, but no one dared to question his determination. Yan Nanshan, you're too arrogant. So what if you've gained control of death energy? Your longevity has almost run out, and there's no chance you can restore balance to your life and death energy. If you act so arrogantly, are you not worried your longevity will come to an end and the Martial Heaven Alliance will be destroyed? Shouted one of the ancient race's Nether Passage experts. The Nether Passage realm had three realms inside. The Life Realm, the Death Realm, and the Samzara Realm. When Nether Passage experts first broke through to the Nether Passage realm, they would be able to control life and death energy. Their life energy and their death energy would be balanced. This was the realm that ordinary Nether Passage experts were at and was the first step. Once their realm was stabilized, they could proceed with the second step, the life realm. They would use their life energy to suppress their death energy. The original proportion of life energy to death energy was 50-50, but to reach the peak of the life realm, they had to make the proportion 90-10. Nether Passage experts that had reached the peak of the life realm had practically endless life force. Severed limbs could be regrown with barely any effort. However, once their life energy had reached a peak, the next step was the death realm. The death realm's principles were the same as the life realm. The only difference was that it was the death energy that suppressed the life energy. The peak was to have 90% death energy and 10% life energy. The life realm wasn't dangerous, but the death realm was very terrifying. The stronger a person's death energy grew, the more it exhausted their life energy. Some people would only be able to reach 70% death energy before reaching their limit. If they pushed it, their death energy would exhaust all their longevity and they would die. Many Nether Passage experts were stuck at 70% death energy and unable to continue cultivating. If they continued, it would be no different from suicide. However, Yan Nanshan's attack just now had clearly shown that his death energy had reached the peak of the death realm. In other words, he was at the peak of the third step. One more step and he would reach the Samzara realm. These were the three realms in the Nether Passage realm, but the majority of Nether Passage experts were unable to even step into them. They were still stuck on the first step, stabilizing their life and death energy. They couldn't even step into the initial life realm without wasting countless years. However, Yan Nanshan had already reached the peak of the third step. That was enough to shock countless people. Unfortunately, they also saw that Yan Nanshan's longevity had almost come to an end due to this. It had reached the point that he was no longer able to balance his life energy and death energy. 
There was no way for him to enter the Samsara realm. That was why they dared to speak up against Yan Nanshan. So what if he was so powerful? His longevity was about to run out. If he were to fight, it would quicken that process. It wouldn't be long before he would be dead. At that time, what would his precious disciples and descendants do? Wouldn't they be slaughtered by them? My descendants are happy. I don't need to bother with them. All I, Yan Nanshan, wish to do is live out my final days while repaying both gratitude and enmity. In any case, I already have one foot in the grave, so I don't need to have any misjivings. If you want to play, I will accompany you. Before people die, they always have to find some things to do, or their lives would have been wasted. Don't you think so? said Yan Nanshan lightly. His meaning was obvious. They shouldn't go too far because all he had left was this one life, and he didn't have any misjivings. He would kill them if they made him. If they forced him, he would even kill his way to their nest. In any case, he wouldn't be alive for much longer. So what was there for him to fear? Those experts became gloomy. The most fearsome existences were always those who were unafraid of losing their lives. Yan Nanshan was such an existence. Did you hear that clearly? If any disciples in the same generation want to send themselves to their deaths, then they can come to me. If there are any nether passage experts though, please go find our grand elder. Make sure you cue well and don't go the wrong way. Long Chen immediately started to get arrogant and shout at the nether passage experts. Those experts turned green with rage, but there was no way for them to reply. Cursing back to Long Chen was a loss of status for them. Long Chen, you can be arrogant for now, but once we're in the yin yang world, I will take your life, sneered true immortal Jayaoki. HMPH, hopefully, brother Jayaoki won't kill him immediately. Someone like him should be tortured and have his soul incinerated so that he can never reincarnate. Just wait, Long Chen, you should prepare to fall into brother Jayaoki's hand so that you can have a quick death. If you fall into my hands, I'll definitely make you regret living in this world, sneered an ancient race expert. This person was also very powerful. It was unknown what divine ability he cultivated, but his aura was shocking. There was faint starlight in his eyes. The nether passage experts were intimidated by Yan Nanshan and no longer dared to speak, but their disciples were now pointing their spears at Long Chen. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to reply. He once more raised a finger on both his hands in a silent counterattack. Those experts were infuriated. They had an urge to charge at him right now. Grand Elder, what does this action of Long Chen's mean? Whispered Yi Lingxian. Although she had roamed the world for many years, she really had never seen this action before. Ah, actually, I don't know either. It should mean he's cursing others. You should just ask Long Chen, said Yan Nanshan awkwardly. Of course he knew what it meant, but could he really explain such a thing? Junior Apprentice Sister, don't listen to Grand Elder's nonsense. This has nothing to do with cursing others. The thumb represents number one, the forefinger represents number two, and the third finger represents number three. My meaning is that I'm number one, and they're not even qualified to be number two. They can only be third rates. Long Chen once more began spouting nonsense with a straight face. That seemed somewhat reasonable, but Yi Lingxian felt like Long Chen was still hiding something based on those people's furious expressions. It was unknown whether those disciples' fury had reached a peak so they couldn't be bothered to look at Long Chen any longer or if it was because their elders told them not to, but eventually those disciples turned away. They closed their eyes and sat in meditation. Seeing those people had stopped talking, Long Chen also didn't waste any more saliva on them. He split his attention to communicate with Lai Long. He began to study the lightning paragon art. This paragon art required his essence, chi, and soul to cooperate fully with Lai Long's thunder force. There couldn't be the slightest deviation from the correct process. Any deviation and the least of his worries would be failing to unleash the paragon art. In the worst case, he would be heavily injured or even die. Back when Xiang Yunfei had unleashed his paragon art. The reason he had dared to unleash it was because it was left behind by his ancestors and was being activated with the help of the heavenly bone spears. He had borrowed the power of his ancestors to unleash it. For Long Chen, he had to rely on himself. His cooperation with Lai Long had to be perfect. 
Since he could tell that the yin yang world was going to be dangerous, he had to increase his power as much as possible. Long Chen, you have to be careful of that true immortal Jiaoki. His talent is exceptional, and he is in possession of two bloodlines. Most shocking of all, when his two bloodlines mixed, they actually managed to support each other and make each other stronger. His divine abilities are more powerful than others. It would be best if you avoided this person. You have enemies everywhere, so if you are injured in a battle against him, it could be fatal, said Yan Nanshan spiritually to Long Chen, as well as Yi Lingshan. Long Chen, the Grand Elder is correct. That true immortal Jiaoki is truly terrifying. Just looking at him makes my hair rise. He's definitely a monster, even more dangerous than Xiang Yunfei, advised Yi Lingshan. Yi Lingshan was also an expert and had sharp senses toward danger. After all, she had fought and come out on top in the lowest level of the cultivation world in the central Xuan region. Back then, although Xiang Yunfei had given her a great sense of danger, at that time, she had yet to take Ku Jianying as her master. She hadn't received her pointers yet, nor had she had a divine sword and a paragon art in her arsenal. She was now much stronger than back then, but when she looked at true immortal Jiaoki, she felt a chill in her bones. Her sense of danger that had been honed for many years was telling her that he was incredibly dangerous, far surpassing Xiang Yunfei. Back then, Long Chen had used up everything in order to defeat Xiang Yunfei. His chances of beating true immortal Jiaoki were low. Even if Long Chen could end up in a draw with him, it was meaningless. Long Chen had enemies everywhere, and if injured, he would be hunted and chased down. Don't worry, I will do my best. Grand Elder, if I kill this fellow, will you be able to handle it? Probed Long Chen. Yi Lingxian was shocked. Long Chen actually dared to say such a thing. That was too arrogant. Even Yan Nanshan was a bit surprised. Seeing how calm Long Chen was. He suddenly understood. He smiled. If you have the ability, then kill as many as you want. No matter what happens, us four old fellows will handle it. No matter how many I kill, it will be fine. Long Chen asked again to confirm. Yi Lingxian covered her mouth in shock. She felt like Long Chen had gone crazy. Yes, as long as you have justification, we will all support you. Yan Nanshan nodded. All right, then I'm at ease. This time I'll properly play them. I'll teach them that they can't provoke me. Long Chen smiled. There was excitement in his eyes. He would have to properly cause some trouble this time. Or it wouldn't have been worth it for the four grand elders to come out of seclusion. Chapter 1805 The Bizarre Yun Yang World Translator Born to be the atmosphere was tense. Although these experts weren't speaking, it was like there were countless sharp blades pointed at Long Chen. Their hostility was clear. Long Chen, are you really not the slightest bit scared? Whispered Yi Lingxian. If she were Long Chen, surrounded by this many powerful enemies who wanted her life, she wouldn't be able to stay calm no matter what. I'm very afraid. Don't you see I'm sitting motionlessly? Said Long Chen. What does being afraid have to do with that? Demanded Yi Lingxian. I've already pissed myself and my butt is now frozen to the stone. I can't move. You should back up before it flows over to your side, advised Long Chen. You, you're disgusting. Yi Lingxian was speechless, but this crude joke of Long Chen's was an answer to her question. Long Chen didn't care about these powerful enemies. Actually, you should have experienced many similar things that I have. I'm already used to it. The majority of my past few years have been either fighting or marching on the path to the next fight. I've already grown numb to it. What's different between the two of us is that you've always been solitary. There are fewer things on your back. So your battles have probably been smaller in scope than mine, said Long Chen. Yi Lingxian nodded slightly. She had always been a solitary figure. She hadn't joined any sects, and she hadn't trusted anyone. Although she had encountered many dangers, she hadn't had that many life and death battles. That was because if she encountered enemies that she couldn't beat. The first thing she would do was run. Long Chen was different. He couldn't retreat when he encountered powerful enemies. Behind him was his family, his brothers, and his lovers. If he retreated, they would die. Yi Lingxian suddenly understood why Long Chen was so strong, and why he possessed such an undefeatable will and belief in himself. 
It was because he had no path of retreat. All of this had been forced out of him. She also suddenly thought of Kujinying. This master of hers cared about her immensely. It was her first time feeling such love. If someone harmed Kujinying, Yi Lingxin would definitely put her life on the line to defend her. Thinking of that, Yi Lingxin suddenly felt like her own mental realm had increased. She looked at Long Chen. Yan Nanshan smiled faintly, seeming to have noticed the change in Yi Lingxin. This change would allow her to comprehend the meaning of life and death easier. In the future, when breaking through to the Nether Passage realm, her comprehension ability would definitely be exceptional. As for Long Chen, he was a monster, a freak, a demon. Even Yan Nanshan was unable to see through him. He was someone both smart and dumb. No one could predict what he would do. Back in Clearwind City, everyone had thought that in that scenario, Long Chen would release Di Xin. However, despite those old fellows trying to hypnotize him, he had killed Di Xin. Not even all those Nether Passage experts had been able to save Di Xin, because no one had really thought that Long Chen would kill Di Xin. There were too many unknown factors surrounding Long Chen. So the Grand Elders had hesitated to give Long Chen the spot to obtain the Paragon Art Inheritance. Why did the Martial Heaven Alliance only have four commanders amongst the disciples? Why weren't there more terrifying geniuses? It was because a great deal of the Martial Heaven Alliance's karmic luck was focused on maintaining those two ancient heroic spirits. So there hadn't been any supreme geniuses to appear in the Alliance. The four commanders' actual power hadn't been a match for their status in the Alliance. If the Martial Heaven Alliance hadn't focused so much karmic luck on maintaining those ancient heroic spirits, the four commanders' accomplishments would have been far greater, and the first commander and second commander wouldn't have died such miserable deaths. This was also one reason for Kujinying's grief. Grand Elder, there's one thing that I don't understand. If the Yun Yang world is a great danger zone, why is everyone sending people inside? Asked Long Chen. According to reason, people should be avoiding the danger zones as much as possible. Why were so many people treating it as a land of treasure? It's because the Yun Yang world is its own world filled with Yun and Yang energy, as well as life and death energy. It has two sides, a life side and a death side. When the Yun Yang world's life energy is at its strongest, people will somehow enter from the Yang side. There's no problem with entering then. However, if people enter the Yun side, that is a land of absolute death and entering there would be suicide. The Yun Yang world's exterior is covered in mist. It has its own laws. And there is also a sovereign blood seal binding it. It is extremely unstable. And it drifts in and out. To put it in a simple way. While the mist is too dense. While the laws do not permit it. And while the sovereign blood seal has not loosened. Entering alone would bring with it a 90% chance of death. Most importantly, once you're in, you'd still have to wait for the Yun Yang world to fully open before you could leave. The Yun Yang world only fully opens once every few centuries or even millennia. Its opening is random. So that's why it is normally considered a danger zone forbidden to life. It's only a good chance now, because it has fully opened hearing this explanation. Long Chen finally understood why this danger zone would also be a land of opportunity. Long Chen, Ling Shen, listen well. In the Yun Yang world, unless you have no other choice, do not break through to the Life Star Realm, warned Yan Nanshan. My master also said the same thing, but she didn't tell me why, said Yi Ling Shen. It's because the Yun Yang world's origins are strange. It has its own laws. Only soul transformation disciples are able to enter through its misty shroud, and life star experts would die if they tried to force their way in. Although the Yun Yang world looks similar to the Martial Heaven continent, there were people who once broke through to the life star realm within, only to find that once they returned to the continent, their cultivation bases were unable to advance even the slightest bit, all the way to their deaths. Their cultivation bases never advanced again said Yan Nanshan solemnly. What Long Chen jumped in shock. Yes, it's true. Many people who entered are at the peak of soul transformation. So when they encountered powerful enemies or other dangers, they might have no choice but to make a breakthrough in their cultivation base in order to stay alive. However, those people, without exception, 
all found that they could no longer increase their cultivation base upon returning to the Martial Heaven continent. Furthermore, their combat power began to regress. The elders of that time theorized that it's because the Yin Yang world has its own independent laws, and when you break through inside, the heavenly deos of the Yin Yang world leave a mark on you. So once you return to the Martial Heaven continent, you no longer have the Martial Heaven continent's recognition and are rejected by its heavenly deos, said Yan Nanshan. So an analogy would be like your woman ran over to a man's house and slept in his bed for a few days, and upon returning, you kicked her out, asked Long Chen. Shameless rogue, don't be so crass, cursed Yi Lingshan. Long Chen really didn't have a filter on his mouth to say such a thing in front of her. Yan Nanshan nodded. It's a coarse analogy, but it is similar. In any case, just remember that if you break through to the life star realm within it, your cultivation path will be truly severed. Long Chen nodded, but he wasn't worried. He was still a long way away from breaking through. The Nine Star Hegemon Body Art's final few have stages required an enormous amount of energy to break through. Huo Long was refining pills all day, but based on Long Chen's estimate, he was still far from having enough. Actually, this benefited Long Chen. Originally, he had been worried about some people breaking through to the Life Star Realm upon entering the Yun Yang world to take advantage of him still being stuck in the Soul Transformation Realm. With this, his confidence grew. He even had an urge to go over and slap these people. Within the Yun Yang world, the Yun side is filled with demonic beasts. Some are even remnants from the Immortal Era. Those are terrifying existences, so be careful. Other than the demonic beasts, there might be some immortal caves with inheritances or priceless treasures inside from foreign worlds, but those are also filled with dangers. You might lose your life. The other thing to note is to not enter the Yun side. There are very powerful death spirit race experts in it. If you startle them, you will be doomed. However, the death spirit race is unable to enter the Yang side. So they aren't too dangerous. I hope that the two of you will stick together and look after each other, said Yan Nanshan. No, we can't. I should tell you that if Yi Lingshan was on her own, it would be dangerous. But if she were with me, it would be even more dangerous for her. I'm already prepared. When I go in, I won't bother searching for treasures. I'll just kill people and take their treasures. In any case, many people will just send themselves to me. If Yi Lingshan is on her own, she'll be much safer, said Long Chen hastily. With his bad luck, he estimated that the two of them would end up finding nothing and most likely end up being hunted down. Furthermore, he had many enemies, and if Yi Lingshan was with him, ignoring the danger, she wouldn't even have time to go search for treasures. She would be fighting all day. It was better if it was just him. This is true. That's fine. You can make your own preparations. If you are able to, it would be best if you are able to find some things that extend a person's longevity, said Yan Nanshan. Long Chen nodded, understanding what he was saying. The Grand Elder's longevity was running out, and they wouldn't be able to last much longer. If they were gone, the Martial Heaven Alliance would lose one of their greatest supports. If both of them could find some treasures, perhaps the four of them would be able to persevere for longer. If they could hold on until Long Chen managed to reach the peak, the Martial Heaven Alliance wouldn't end up short on manpower. As Yan Nanshan was discussing things with Long Chen and Yi Lingshan, more and more Nether Passage experts began to arrive with their disciples. When they saw Long Chen, they were all astonished. They hadn't expected that the Xuan beasts, ancient races, and the people from the Martial Heaven Alliance would be able to sit in silence together. Of course. There were also a few experts who came from righteous sects. They went over to greet Yan Nanshan, but they had their disciples maintain a certain distance from Long Chen. Most likely, they were afraid of others noticing them being too close to Long Chen. Suddenly, a woman walked over from the distance. She was like a fairy who had descended to the mortal world. She was graceful and elegant. When Long Chen saw her, a complicated expression appeared on his face. Chapter 1806 Once more seeing Zi Yan translator, born to be her robes were snow white, and her figure swayed gently. Like a fairy walking in the mortal world, she drew the gazes of everyone. She was a peerless beauty. Her gemstone-like eyes swept over the crowd. 
When she saw Long Chen, a complicated emotion appeared in her tender eyes. This woman was the number one genius of the junior generation of the elusive music immortal palace, Zi Yan. Her arrival caused every single man to involuntarily feel ashamed of their own inferiority. As for Yi Lingxian, although she was also a top beauty, she was eclipsed by Zi Yan. Zi Yan looked at Long Chen, and Long Chen looked at Zi Yan. He sighed inside. His relationship with her was complicated. There was both enmity and gratitude between the two of them. The entire continent knew what had transpired between them. The elusive music Immortal Palace had sent Shen Bijin to kill Long Chen, and the results were that the current palace master almost lost her position. She had to punish herself as an apology to the world for her actions. Shen Bijin had died to Long Chen, and the palace master had also punished herself because of this. Although the elusive music Immortal Palace hadn't reached the point of being like water and fire with Long Chen, they could already count as enemies. Back when Zi Yan had tried to stop Long Chen from killing his enemies in the Grand Han ancient nation, she had lost. The elusive music Immortal Palace had then spread the word that she had held back due to her feelings. That was because they didn't want the world to think that Zi Yan wasn't as strong as Long Chen but that she just hadn't wanted to kill him. This news had shaken countless experts and made countless men crazily jealous of Long Chen. In that kind of scenario, Zi Yan had actually rather die to Long Chen than kill him. Her feelings toward him were clear. Countless men could die of jealousy from this. If Zi Yan expressed the slightest good opinion to any man, it was unknown just how many people would be willing to sacrifice their lives for her. However, Long Chen had actually refused Zi Yan, making countless people feel like Zi Yan's feelings were unworthy of him. Yi Lingxian had previously heard that Zi Yan was a fairy that would make any woman feel ashamed of themselves upon seeing her. Today, she learned what a peerless beauty was. Zi Yan's charm didn't just stem from her looks. She possessed a certain air that was difficult to describe. There was immortal spiritual chi around her, and it was like she was a transcendent being. It was like just looking at her was a blasphemy. Zi Yan's arrival caused the heavenly geniuses that had been sitting to shoot to their feet. They felt like sitting before her was an insult. Their eyes were filled with adoration and worship. This was Zi Yan's specific charm. The elusive music Immortal Palace's disciples all possessed an ability to get closer to the heavenly deos. Their natural air made it so others had difficulty forming any hostility or other bad feelings toward them. This was also another reason why Shen Bijin's zither music had been able to control the southern Xuan region's geniuses so easily. It was because their hearts had already been subdued by her specific air. Zi Yan was much more beautiful than Shen Bijin. As soon as she arrived, let alone the men, even the women greatly admired her. Brother Long, you're as valiant as ever. Zi Yan bowed slightly to Long Chen. Her voice was like immortal music. However, it made him feel sour. Her voice clearly contained a certain distant feeling to him. Perhaps this was what Long Chen had wanted, but now that it really happened, that feeling of disappointment was something only Long Chen could understand. Many thanks. In the end, Long Chen could only reply with a standard courteous reply. His relationship with Zi Yan was practically a melodramatic play. None of his skills could help him here. You should be careful. The power of her seven-string C suppressing zither had increased to a new level. It seems part of its seal has been broken, warned Evil Moon. In truth, there was no need for Evil Moon's warning. Long Chen also sensed that Zi Yan was different from before. She possessed something on her that gave him a feeling of great danger. Brother Long, I've recently learned a new song that I want you to hear. Are you interested in hearing it? After a moment's hesitation, Zi Yan asked Long Chen a question. Long Chen looked at her crystal clear eyes. It was several breaths later that he shook his head. You shouldn't waste your music on me. It would be like playing music for a bull. I'm a stubborn coarse man. Everyone's deos are different. And although it's said that all deos led to the same place, the paths are all different. I respect your Tao. And I hope you can respect mine as well. Gods. Devils. Immortals. Ghosts. There are many different deos. But who is right or wrong? who is higher or lower, there is no criterion to judge them, man is not a fish and cannot know the fish's life, although Long Chen and Zi Yan hadn't been together for a long time, 
they had disclosed their hearts in the Grand Shia. Long Chen understood Zi Yan's heart, which was why he felt so powerless. Both he and Zi Yan were very opinionated and strongly believed in their own views of the world. No one could rattle their beliefs. Zi Yan had always thought that Long Chen was a devil in need of saving. She did it out of the kindness of her heart. But Long Chen never thought of himself as a devil. It was the opposite. He felt he was kinder than the absolute majority of people. Zi Yan had been influenced by the elusive music Immortal Palace from her youth. She had her own worldview built around there. As for Long Chen, he had his own worldview. He viewed the world from the bottom rungs. While Zi Yan was standing at the peak, their viewpoints were completely different, and the worlds they saw were also completely different. In Zi Yan's eyes, this world was beautiful, but what Long Chen saw was always the bloody and cruel side. This resulted in two different worldviews, so it was fated that the two of them could not end up together. Furthermore, he knew that Zi Yan had not given up and was planning on trying again with this song. She would do everything she could to get Long Chen to mend his ways. Long Chen didn't want to disappoint her again, so he decided not to listen to her song. However, Zi Yan couldn't help being disappointed after being refused by Long Chen. I'm sad I won't get to receive your pointers again, even regretful. However, that expression you brought up, man is not a fish and cannot know the fish's life. I disagree with it. The fish is in the water only due to its current circumstances. It cannot grow wings and cannot go ashore. It is powerless to do anything, so it can only peacefully live its life. But the turtle can come ashore to live its life. The crocodile lives on both land and water. They were not satisfied with living in the water and braved the unknown. The coon dominated the water, but it willed itself to fly through the sky. And so there is the story of the kunpeng breaking through the heavens and its restrictions. Didn't they do this to change their viewpoint and to see another side of the world? You are stubbornly clinging to your narrow view of the world. If you could open your heart, the path to immortality and divinity would be wide open for you. Zi Yan's voice quivered ever so slightly. She was clearly too emotional to keep her voice calm. Everyone could tell that she still cared about Long Chen. True immortal Jiaoki and the other disciples' expressions changed. Their gazes were filled with jealousy as they stared daggers at Long Chen. They wished to crush him right here and now. Just how was his luck so good? Why didn't Fairy Zi Yan look at them like this? Long Chen looked at Zi Yan. Her flawless face was slightly rosy, like a peach blossom in bloom. He had no way to reply to this beauty's emotions. He also couldn't accept her principles. When Zi Yan had roamed the world, she had always been carrying her status as heir to the elusive music Immortal Palace. Who would dare to be rude to her? Everything she saw was what others showed her. Hence, she thought that what she saw was a beautiful world. As for Long Chen, he had seen people's twisted sides or perhaps reality. This was a world where the strong were respected where the weak were prey. Zi Yan was born an expert. Everything she saw was beautiful, but Long Chen's world was filled with blood. Zi Yan was using her own yardstick to judge the world and judge Long Chen's world. That was fundamentally a mistake. It was the same world, but their viewpoints were completely different. So the worlds they saw were different. Long Chen had tried to communicate with Zi Yan several times, but he was always disappointed. Her worldview had deep roots and could not be shaken. As for himself, there was no way he could change his worldview for Zi Yan. Perhaps if he didn't have deep bloody enmities with others. Perhaps if he didn't have a group of lovers. A group of hot-blooded brothers. Perhaps for someone who deeply loved him. He could try to change himself. However, he couldn't now. And he couldn't in the future. So he was silent in the face of Zi Yan's questioning. Long Chen. Fairy Zi Yan is doing her best to enlighten you, a devil. Hopefully you can sincerely repent and turn over a new leaf. But seeing you expressionless in the face of her emotional plea, it seems you're fully entrenched in the devil Dao and cannot be saved, sneered an expert from the ancient races, his voice full of jealousy and disdain. Long Chen smiled faintly. To Zi Yan, he said, Do you see? This is the difference between us. When you speak, Others immediately agree, but before I even speak, others will target me. You are constantly standing beneath the sun, seeing the world full of light. I am standing in a dark shadowy corner. Although I can see the sunlight, 
I can't feel its warmth. The only things that can make me feel warm in this world are my family, my lovers, and my brothers. I need them, and they also need me. We will live and die together. We don't need other people's pity, nor do we need other people to give us their sunlight. Perhaps others didn't feel much from Long Chen's words, but they formed a resonance with Yi Lingxin. She had always thought that others couldn't understand her view of the world, but now she found that she and Long Chen were the same. Long Chen, you're too extreme. You should try to open your inner heart and accept this world's sunlight. It's selfless. It can't be that you will hate this world as you intentionally stand where the sunlight can't reach you. Zi Yan looked at Long Chen with pity. She knew what Long Chen had experienced, and she knew that if he continued like this, he would sooner or later become a true devil king. She wanted to change that fate. Chapter 1807 Then let's not wait translator. Born to be I don't hate this world. It's the opposite. I love this world and am grateful for it. This world has many kind people and those worthy of my respect. This world is beautiful, but it is definitely not perfect. Fairy Zi Yan, it should be noted that you are living your life, while I am busy surviving. In your position, you don't need to worry if you'll have food to eat, a roof over your head, or clothes on your back. You don't need to worry about gathering cultivation resources or your safety. That's really living. As for me, I am stuck in the center of a constant struggle with idiots constantly pestering me. They might come at me to try taking my life at any time. They are fiends to me but respectful to you. They are the same people, but they have a double standard. That's why you don't need to waste any more effort. I understand your heart, but unfortunately, you will never understand mine. All I ask you to remember is that everything you see is just what people want you to see. You see the leaf that others put in front of you, blinding you from the mountain behind. The reality of this world is far crueler and bloodier than you think. Long Chen shook his head as he looked at Zi Yan. He understood that Zi Yan was doing this out of kindness toward him, but she had been brainwashed by the elusive music Immortal Palace since her childhood. Some things were deeply imprinted in her brain and could not be changed. He knew that no matter how high his cultivation base grew, he wouldn't be able to change her thinking. Perhaps she was right and the two of them were simply fated to be enemies. It was an unchangeable destiny. Long Chen, you fiend. Fairy Zi Yan is trying to guide you to the right path. And you spout such arrogance to hurt her. You really are worse than a beast. Scolded one of the righteous path's disciples. Despite both being from the righteous path, it was unknown just how many disciples looked down on Long Chen. Viewing him as having nothing more than dog shit luck. They thought that if they were that lucky, they would definitely be stronger. That was especially true when they saw his words cause tears to fill Zi Yan's eyes. That disappointed expression provoked their desire to protect her, and they immediately pointed their spears at Long Chen. Yes, I really am worse than you, sighed Long Chen. This reply first dumbfounded people before they quickly realized that he was cursing them as beasts. Long Chen. Do we really need to fight to the point of you die or I die? Life in this world should comply with the heavenly deos. Whether you're living or surviving, it's the same thing. We can all grow under the protection of the heavenly deos. Look at the sovereigns. Which one of them walked to the peak by being merciless and vicious? Which one of them relied on slaughter to solve their problems? Bloody methods only intensify the conflict, said Zi Yan. Long Chen's expression changed slightly. He thought of the crux of the problem. The sovereigns had been respected by all races, not just because of their power, but because of their wisdom and magnanimity. This was something that he knew as well. There were many legends regarding the sovereigns, and although some of those stories might have been embellished, it was true that only the sovereigns had been able to obtain the approval of all races. He thought of when he had encountered Sovereign Yun Shang. At that time, Sovereign Yun Shang had been wearing white robes and had seemed a bit surprised to see him wearing black. However, the Sovereign had then said that Long Chen walked a different path from them. Now that Zi Yan brought up the Sovereigns, he seemed to understand something. Zi Yan, there's no need to say any more. You are right, but I am also not wrong. Neither of us will give up our way of thinking, so don't try any longer. The more you try, the more it will hurt. Your so-called heavenly deos are nothing more than a joke. They also treat people according to different standards. 
Kind people always end up bullied, while evil people go unpunished. As for the cycle of karma, I'm too impatient to wait for karma to punish them. I remember enmities, and anyone who tries to kill me or harm my people will not be let off. I am not so magnanimous. I do not have that skill, or that self-restraint, or that interest in being a good person. What I need to do is protect the people beside me. As for how others view me, their hostility toward me, whatever. After saying this, Long Chen turned away, no longer acknowledging Zi Yan. This was an argument with no solution. Saying any more was meaningless. However, there was one thing that he didn't understand, and it was the role of elusive music immortal palace in the martial heaven continent. They claimed to be the protectors of the continent, but their true origins were a mystery. No one knew. Zi Yan saw Long Chen turn away, clearly not wishing to continue this conversation. Then, she lowered her head and sadly walked away to find her own corner to sit down in. Waves of divine light came out of her, screening her from the other people's sight. She didn't want others to see her like this. It was unknown whether she was furiously venting behind her curtain of light, or whether she was silently sobbing. Long Chen knew that Zi Yan was hurt right now. He didn't feel good either, but this reality made him helpless. He really hated those people who brainwashed others. They were a bunch of conmen. The corrupt path and blood kill hall were like that. After their brainwashing, their faith would become so solid that it made their people frightening. When a person thought that there was only one correct answer to something, and all other answers were worthy of death, that meant there was a problem with that person's cognitive abilities. One person might see a sapling and be correct in that, but if an ant looked at it, they would see a towering tree. Their responses would naturally be different. If you thought that your answer was the only correct one and you had to force that ant to accept your answer, then that was bigotry. And bigoted thinking was frightening. All things had two sides. How could there be an absolute correct answer? If a thief was caught, people would want to beat him to death. But what if he stole a few pieces of bread to save his starving mother on her last breaths? Then you would need to view this problem from multiple angles. Standing in the position of the thief, the spectator, the person who was stolen from, or the thief's mother, that was four viewpoints already, four different answers. However, brainwashed people did not see four different answers. They only had one answer, and if others did not have the same answer, they would criticize and condemn them, forcibly educating them to the correct answer. If you refused, they would raise their butcher's blades. The reason Long Chen didn't dare to rapidly increase his cultivation base was because he was afraid of one day becoming a crazy person due to the nine-star hegemon body arts influence. He had to make sure he could always see himself clearly. As for Zi Yan, the only things in her mind were the teachings of the elusive music Immortal Palace. She was like an empress standing on the city gates, looking at starving commoners eating tree bark just to stay alive and then curiously asking why they didn't eat meat. Long Chen's eloquence wouldn't lose to anyone, but he was profoundly helpless when it came to Zi Yan. He had no time nor energy to fight with her like this. So in the end, one of them would very likely fall. Zi Yan was heartbroken, but Long Chen was also distressed. Zi Yan knew that there was no way for her to change Long Chen, but she continued to try, fighting for the slightest hope. In comparison, Long Chen felt a bit ashamed of how he had given up. Zi Yan was still fighting for him, but he didn't have the time. He was in a race against time. Anything that blocked his way might come with a great price in the future. He couldn't hold back just for Zi Yan. One of the ancient race experts took this chance to speak. What a despicable man you are Long Chen. How dare you hurt fairy Zi Yan like this. Just wait until we enter the Yin Yang world. I will personally kill you to avenge fairy then let's not wait. Long Chen's figure suddenly flashed forward. He charged at that ancient race expert. No one had expected Long Chen to suddenly attack. He arrived in front of that expert in an instant. However, that person was also an expert, and he didn't panic. He had no time to summon his manifestation, but a pair of runic wings appeared behind him. He smashed a fist at Long Chen, while his runic wings also slammed toward his head. This was a two-prong attack, simple but vicious. When Long Chen's fist met his fist, his wings would slam into Long Chen's head. If Long Chen tried to block the wings, 
he would have to endure the punch. If he focused on the punch, his wings would shatter his head. The wings were one of the ancient race experts' divine abilities. However, Long Chen ignored the pair of runic wings. His fist continued to smash into that ancient race expert's fist. The ancient race expert was surprised. He had expected Long Chen to retreat and block his wings. Long Chen's most likely course of action would be to launch a kick at his opponent's abdomen to escape his current predicament. That would naturally cause Long Chen to fall into a trap. The ancient race expert had a chain of backup moves that would even give him a chance to kill Long Chen if he acted as expected. However, Long Chen was acting very foolishly by charging in a suicidal manner, causing this expert to be a bit panicked. If it was anyone else, he would be confident in killing them. But it was Long Chen. This seemingly foolish act of his made him feel very uneasy. By this point, there was nothing else he could do. He could only circulate all his power. Just as Long Chen's fist was about to strike, he spread his fingers, turning his fist into a claw that caught his opponent's fist. At that moment, the two runic wings slammed toward Long Chen's head. However, just as they were about to strike, lightning flashed. The two wings shattered. Crack. With his right hand clenching and pulling on the ancient race expert's fist, his left hand smashed into the ancient race expert's nose. Chapter 1808 Mysterious Man Translator Born to Benevolune.com Long Chen's fist smashed into that ancient race expert's nose. The immense force caused his head to cave in. A pair of lightning wings flashed on Long Chen's back. It was these lightning wings that had blown apart the ancient race expert's runic wings. When he saw those lightning wings, Yan Nanchen's expression changed. So Long Chen had gained control of this rudimentary form of a paragon art so quickly. These lightning wings were the paragon art, the sundering lightning heavenly wings. It was just that right now, Long Chen was relying entirely on Lai Long to unleash this technique. He was still unable to cooperate with Lai Long to unleash the move. So its power was very limited. It was still in a rudimentary form. Despite that, it was enough to instantly destroy this ancient race expert's divine ability. However, because it had only appeared for an instant, it hadn't unleashed the fluctuations of a paragon art, so others weren't able to realize what it was. Only Yan Nanshan had noticed the power of this move, and he was stunned by its power. If Long Chen grasped the complete form of this paragon art, he might be able to dominate these geniuses. Long Chen, you are courting death. Seeing Long Chen heavily injure his disciple and then grab him by the neck, the Nether Passage Elder that had come with this ancient race disciple immediately shot to his feet. However, he had just moved when a sharp ray of sword chi slashed over. That Nether Passage expert coughed up blood and hastily retreated. I previously said that anyone in the same realm can challenge Long Chen, but if Nether Passage experts want to attack, don't blame me for not being courteous. Have you forgotten already? Yan Nanshan looked at these experts coldly, appearing cold yet domineering. There was frosty killing intent in his eyes. Yi Lingshan looked in shock at Yan Nanshan. This time, he hadn't used her sword. He had merely waved two fingers but had still been able to use them as a sword and injure a nether passage expert. Yan Nanshan's attack once more shook everyone. They were experiencing the terrifying power of someone at the peak of the death realm. None of them could stop him. Long Chen what do you want? Gasped that ancient race disciple in his hand. His body suddenly exploded. Not even his Yuan spirit was spared. Long Chen's hand was bloody. And his gaze was cold. It's not what I want. But what do you want? I was too lazy to deal with you just now. But you still forced me like this. Since that's the case. Let's not bother with anything fancy. There's no need to enter the yin yang world. Anyone who wants to kill me can come challenge me right now. Let us fight to the death right here and see who is left standing in the end. Long Chen was feeling vexed due to his complicated relationship with Zi Yan. Hence, when someone actually added oil to the fire, his temper naturally couldn't endure it. Since you want to die, alright. True immortal Jiaoki was the first to step forward. His copper eyes stared at Long Chen. Popping sounds began to ring out of his skeleton. Boom. Just at this moment, explosive rumbling came from the air. The mist over the distant mountains had become thin, and a surge of life energy surged out of the yin-yang world. We can enter. 
A nether passage expert formed hand seals, summoning life and death energy that formed a channel through the mist. He then tossed his disciple inside. Count yourself lucky, but just wait. I will definitely cut off your head in the yin yang world, said true immortal Jiaoki before entering the life and death channel created by his Xuan Beast Elder. There were actually over 10 more days until the yin yang world was fully open. At this time, the mist had yet to scatter, so it should be impossible to enter. However, Nether Passage experts were capable of creating a channel with their life and death energy so that soul transformation experts could enter. This way, these disciples would have a 10-day head start into the yin-yang world, that would give them an advantage over the other disciples. However, creating a channel capable of getting through this mist exhausted a great deal of life and death energy. Ordinary Nether Passage experts were only able to send a single person in. Stronger ones would be able to just barely send two in. Any more would be too much. Long Chen, just wait. You will definitely die a miserable death in the yin-yang world. A few more of the heavenly geniuses added in their shouts before charging into the yin-yang world. Yi Lingxin pulled Long Chen into their channel. Although they moved second, they were even faster than the others. Originally, true immortal Jiaoki was the fastest, but Long Chen and Yi Lingxin quickly overtook them. That wasn't because they were rushing, but because Yan Nanshan's life and death energy was superior to the others, allowing the two of them to be the first to enter the yin yang world. The two of them charged through the mist, vanishing from sight. Just a moment later, true immortal Jiaoki also entered the yin yang world. The others quickly followed, vanishing one by one. Only once the majority of people had entered did Zi Yan put away her curtain of light, although her face was now calm. Her eyes were slightly red. She had clearly been crying. Little girl, come over here. Yan Nanshan beckoned to Zi Yan. Zi Yan greets senior Zi Yan respectfully walked over and bowed. I can send you in. If you enter yourself, it will take quite a bit of your spiritual yuan. That's a dangerous condition to be in while in the yin yang world, said Yan Nanshan. Enter herself? The experts in the surroundings were startled. Zi Yan was able to enter the yin yang world on her own? Many thanks for your kindness, but I can protect myself. Zi Yan expressed her gratitude, but she declined. Yan Nanshan did not get angry at being refused. He amicably said, There is no absolute right or wrong in this world. You put in so much bitter effort for Long Chen because you think you are saving him, but in reality, you've only made more enemies for him. You've made others grow jealous and from jealousy is born hate. You've given them another reason to kill him. Senior, I don't explain yourself for now. I know you had kind intentions, and Long Chen knows this as well. Everyone knows that you did this out of the kindness of your heart. However, if kindness is used in the wrong place, it becomes a bad thing. This is also what I mean when I say that there is no absolute right or wrong. Whether something is right or wrong, true or false depends on a person's viewpoint. If you want to accurately judge this world, you need to use multiple yardsticks to measure it. If you can switch to a different status and experience another person's life, you'll experience things from a different viewpoint. Perhaps, you will have unexpected gains. Zi Yan looked at Yan Nanshan with gratitude. She once more respectfully bowed. Many thanks for your pointers. Wahahaha. Who do I see here? Why it's fairy Zi Yan. I'm honored. Suddenly, a voice rang out. A tall man wearing a cloak and a mask on his face walked over. He looked at Zi Yan enthusiastically. Sir, you are. Zi Yan looked at this man curiously. Divine runes were flowing around his mask that made it impossible for others to see his true face. Just seeing his eyes, she didn't find him familiar at all. Fairy Zi Yan, have you forgotten me so quickly? I'm cough. This isn't a good place to speak. But you do know me. We met in the Eastern Wasteland. And I've even heard your music before urged that man. Sorry, I really don't remember you. Zi Yan shook her head apologetically. What the? Is the only one you remember from the Eastern Wasteland Long Chen? That's very hurtful that man lowered his head sadly. Sorry, I still have things to do. So I'll take my leave first. Zi Yan looked at him for a long time before confirming she really didn't know him. Zi Yan lightly pressed a hand against the air. It was like a zither was present in the air, and the world was split open. 
forming a narrow channel for her, in front of everyone's dumbfounded gazes. Zi Yan gracefully walked into that narrow channel and vanished from sight. When she vanished, the split open world returned to normal as if nothing had happened. However, that sight deeply shook people's minds. My word, Fairy Zi Yan has gained the approval of the seven string sea suppressing zither. She can communicate with the world spiritually, using the very heavens as her strings, exclaimed a nether passage expert. Was she really a soul transformation disciple? This kind of power was enough to annihilate nether passage experts. Many people felt thankful that Long Chen had been so stupid as to refuse Zi Yan's kindness. If he ended up with Zi Yan, no one would be able to do anything to him. The elusive music Immortal Palace's disciples' strongest point wasn't their combat power, but their ability to commune with the heavenly deos. Whoever could dual cultivate with her would never have a bottleneck in their lifetime. When Zi Yan had said that if Long Chen would agree to change his ways, the path to immortality or divinity would be wide and open for him, it had clearly expressed her determination in her heart. However, Long Chen had declined this lure that would drive others crazy. That bastard Long Chen, how am I supposed to live this down? Beautiful women only recognize you and not me. How am I any inferior to you? Cursed the man once Zi Yan left. Everyone looked at this person curiously. His voice was very young. However, wearing a cloak and mask out in the open was a bit out of place. Brother, do you have any enmity with Long Chen? Probed an expert from the ancient family alliance. The mysterious man looked at that nether passage expert and suddenly slapped him across the face. Cursing. Who the fuck are you calling brother? Chapter 1809 The Western Wretch Appears Translator Born to be that nether passage expert of the ancient family alliance kindly stepped forward to strike up a conversation, only to receive a sudden slap in the face. Bastard. The nether passage expert was enraged. He was just about to kill this man when he suddenly smelled the scent of rot. His face began to hurt Enich at the same time. When the experts around him saw his face, they all let out startled cries. That nether passage expert's face was starting to rapidly decay. This is death energy. That's impossible. This man might be masked, but he didn't look to be over 30. How was it possible to advance to the nether passage realm at such a young age? How could he control such pure death energy? The nether passage expert who had been slapped had chunks of his face slowly fall. He couldn't even stop it. His skull was quickly exposed. The corrosive energy was then starting to fade. However, before he could fully erase it, he would have to keep this frightening appearance. Just who are you? Shouted the nether passage expert. This kind of pure death energy was something that of all the people present, only Yan Nanshan could possess. No one could have expected that such a young and terrifying nether passage expert had appeared in this world. Yan Nanshan looked at the masked man and sank into thoughtful silence. He silently smiled. Now he knew why this masked man's death energy was so strange. Who am I? Do you think you're qualified to ask? If I wanted to, other than this senior from the Martial Heaven Alliance, all of you would be crushed, sneered the masked man. The death energy surrounding his body grew denser and stronger, shocking everyone. They hastily retreated. This death energy actually possessed a powerful corrosive power, forming its own death domain that even nether passage experts didn't dare to get close to. This death domain possessed a corrosive aura that was very strange. They didn't want to touch it. Little fellow, I don't mind telling you that the death energy on your face isn't as simple as you think. It has imprinted onto your skull. If you look carefully, you'll find that your longevity is currently wasting away, said the masked man indifferently. That nether passage expert immediately sensed it carefully, and his expression completely changed. He was shocked to find that his longevity was truly shrinking. Although the process was very slow, it still terrified him. The masked man continued, This is just the start. This death poison has branded your skeleton. In three days, the poison will erupt like a volcano. At that time, you'll be losing a year of your life with each breath you take until you're dead. So, do you still think you're qualified to call me brother? The nether passage expert from the ancient family alliance looked at the masked man uneasily. The other experts were also intimidated, afraid that the masked man would set his sights on them. 
that death energy was something nether passage experts in the life realm couldn't resist. Senior, I was rude to you. I hope you won't find trouble for this junior. The ancient family alliance's nether passage expert lowered his head and begged. The masked man smiled and nodded. In all my years of roaming the continent, that was the first time someone dared to call himself my brother. The youngsters these days are all rude. Well, due to your youth, I won't be too hard on you. I'll give you a chance to make up for this. Open the life and death channel for me to the yin-yang world. Then I'll accept your apology. But senior, that's the yin-yang world. Do you think my realm is something a child like you can comprehend? That yin-yang world is just a fart in my eyes. I can come and go as I please. Are you opening the gate or not? If not, just wait for your longevity to dry up. The masked man snorted and turned to walk into the yin-yang world himself. His words shocked everyone. The yin-yang world was its own unique world. Only soul transformation disciples could enter, and life star experts and above would be annihilated by its laws. No matter how strong a person was, they were still nothing in front of a whole world's power. But this masked man still dared to enter the yin-yang world. Yan Nanshan smiled faintly. He didn't say a word, but inside, he was thinking that the youngsters these days really knew how to play. Senior, please wait. Junior will immediately open the gate. That nether passage of the ancient family alliance clenched his teeth. Life and death energy surged out of him, and a channel opened in the air. The channel had just formed when he began to sweat. He had already exhausted most of his energy opening the channel for his disciple. Hence, opening it again was incredibly taxing, but he had no choice if he wanted to live. Count yourself sensible the masked man jumped into the channel. Senior can you, please go faster. I can't hold on. The nether passage expert's aura was growing unsteady. Useless thing. You can't even do something so insignificant scolded the masked man. But he quickened his steps. He quickly reached the end of the channel and was right in front of the mist. One more step and he would enter the yin-yang world. Everyone was holding their breath. If the masked man could enter then perhaps there was hope that they could also enter. They were starting to wonder if the laws of the yin-yang world had changed without anyone noticing. They saw that the masked man was standing right in front of the mist, but the mist was still completely steady. There were no intense fluctuations. At this time, the masked man turned back to the ancient family alliance's nether passage expert. I keep my word. I'll tell you the way to cure your face right now. Many thanks. Senior cried that nether passage expert. All you need to do is see my face and the poison will be cured. Look closely. The masked man slowly took off his mask, revealing a young and handsome face with a slight double chin. His face still had a bit of baby fat to it, and normally, this kind of face was quite kind and nice. However, now it was covered with a wretched expression. Mo Nyan, when the mask fell, that nether passage expert's eyes opened wide. Blood almost poured out of his eyes, and he clenched his teeth furiously. Ha ha ha, not bad. After traveling far and wide and excavating countless tombs, I finally gained some recognition. Little fellow, many thanks for your effort. I'll leave first, but because you're so obedient, I won't rob your ancestral tomb. Mo Nyan laughed magnanimously. Fuck your mother, you robbed my family's ancestral tomb a year ago, roared the nether passage expert. Oh, is that so? I've excavated countless tombs, so I can't remember them all. That's fine. Then I promise not to excavate your ancestral tomb a second time. All right. Goodbye. Mo Nyan stepped into the mist, vanishing from sight. Although that nether passage expert had immediately dispelled his channel upon realizing it was Mo Nyan, the gate that was stuck onto the mist still stayed for a few seconds before vanishing. Most hateful of all. This mist was condensed by the laws of the yin-yang world, so he didn't dare to attack it. If the yin-yang world counterattacked, he would be annihilated. Pfft. The nether passage expert coughed up a mouthful of blood, almost fainting. At this moment, he realized that his face had recovered. After thinking about it for a moment, he realized that Mo Nyan's death energy was not the death energy that nether passage experts controlled. He had been fooled. This kind of energy came from ancient tombs. It was a corrosive death poison that had infected Mo Nyan after staying in tombs for too long. After a long time, 
he had managed to learn how to control this kind of sinister power. This kind of energy was fundamentally different from a nether passage expert's death energy. One was a law, while the other was a kind of poisonous G. If he had been calm, he would have noticed the clues. However, this bastard Mo Nian's acting had been too good, duping him and everyone else. Thinking of how he had actually called Mo Nian Sr., bowed to him, and even opened the channel for him, he almost exploded in anger. Most hateful of all, Mo Nian had once dug up his ancestral tomb. Of everyone present, only Yan Nanshan had seen the clues and guessed Mo Nian's identity. That dense death air was something only Mo Nian who had spent a great deal of time frequenting ancient tombs would possess. Mo Nian and Long Chen had become good brothers in the eastern wasteland. Yan Nanshan naturally wouldn't expose him. Seeing Mo Nian slap his enemy in the face and then con him into respectfully opening a path for him without the slightest effort. Yan Nanshan supposed that the name of the western wretch was not undeserved. Once Mo Nian had muddled his way into the Yin Yang world, Yan Nanshan turned and left. He trusted that when the eastern madman and the western wretch were reunited, the Yun Yang world would become truly lively. Chapter 1810 Entering the Yun Yang World Translator Born to be the mist before him gradually faded. Long Chen found that Ian Yi Lingxian had entered a new world. They were standing in the sky, overlooking an unfamiliar land. He saw an unending mountain range, a huge towering forest, and vines as thick as dragons. This world was thrumming with vitality. In fact, it was even greater than the spirit world. The mountain range continued beyond the horizon. In the end, he saw the peaks of mountains piercing into the clouds. The sun hung high in the sky. It didn't look any different from the martial heaven continent. When he looked back, he saw that the mist had long since vanished. He had no idea where exactly he was. The first thing Long Chen did was activate his divine ring. The dense life energy in the air was summoned by the divine ring. It poured into the primal chaos space and the withered world trees were quickly nourished. Long Chen, don't make such a ruckus as soon as you enter. Yi Lingxian jumped. This place was a danger zone, a place forbidden to life. There were countless dangers, and the slightest carelessness would cause you to lose your life. However, Long Chen acted indifferent to all this as soon as he entered. It's fine. I'll just wait for those fellows to get in here. We can kill each other happily, said Long Chen. Long Chen had never possessed a good temper. Seeing them want to kill him had provoked his killing intent. Don't foolishly wait. The mist seems to be rapidly revolving around this whole world. If you enter at different times, you'll appear in different places. Even if two people enter at the same time, they are unlikely to end up together. The reason we weren't separated was because the Grand Elder used his supreme power to block the power of the laws here, said Yi Lingxian. So there was such a thing? Long Chen was disappointed. He had been prepared to have a large slaughter fest here. Long Chen, the Grand Elder told us to go search for precious medicines that can extend a person's life. Do you want to come with me? Asked Ji Lingxian. Do you have a map? No. There is no map of the Yin Yang world. Each time it appears, its terrain changes. So maps are useless. We'll need to investigate it ourselves and then exchange information with others to get a more complete picture. However, even that will be useless the next time the Yun Yang world opens then how are you going to find those medicines? I don't know either. The Grand Elders need them though. Although they didn't say it was a must, it's still very important. As long as I can obtain some kind of life-extending medicine, I don't mind missing out on other opportunities. I heard you're an alchemist? Shouldn't you have some way of locating precious medicines? Asked Ji Lingxian. The Grand Elders know that finding such a rare treasure would be up to the karmic luck of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Their existence supports the entire Martial Heaven Alliance. So if the Alliance's karmic luck has not yet come to an end, the life-extending medicine will appear on its own. If not, do you think a few medicines would be able to change the future? In the end, we'll be relying entirely on luck. You know, let me put it to you this way. If you go roaming around to test your luck, based on your karmic luck as the future heir of the Martial Heaven Alliance, you will definitely have a chance of finding the medicine. But if you stay with me, he, let alone finding it, I don't even know how many dangers you would encounter on your way. So I won't implicate you. 
You should go on your own before you're brought down by my bad luck. I'll look for it as well. I have some experience when it comes to snatching treasures from others. Long Chen was telling her to go on her own. If she found it then good. If she didn't then he would see if he could snatch it from others. In any case, they were all his enemies. He didn't even need to come up with a reason to take their treasures. All right then. Be careful. You have a lot of enemies. Warned Yi Lingxin. Just at the entrance. Practically everyone was Long Chen's enemy. It was unknown just how many other enemies had entered from different openings to the yin yang world. Don't worry, I've long since gotten used to it. I'm more worried about you. You're strong, but you aren't ruthless enough. You should remember that if anyone targets you, no matter what their reasoning, you have to have the determination to kill them. Your life is no longer just your own. It belongs to the Alliance Head and the Martial Heaven Alliance. Compared to before you are no longer the same. Yi Lingxin was truly powerful. She even had a paragon art now. Even if she encountered powerful enemies, she should have the power to protect herself. Long Chen was just worried that she wouldn't be decisive enough. Before, Yi Lingxin hadn't had the confidence to act like that. She had to have misjivings about who she was fighting. However, she didn't need to worry about that now. She had to be tough. Yi Lingxin nodded, picking a random direction. She suppressed her aura and rushed off. She definitely didn't want to be like Long Chen and practically broadcast her location. She hid herself to avoid drawing attention. With his divine ring active, Long Chen was basically telling the entire Yun Yang world that he was waiting here. Once Yi Lingxin left, Long Chen didn't immediately set off. Instead, he sat in the air, keeping his divine ring active to absorb the dense life energy in the surroundings. The will corresponding to the divine ring forced even the yin yang world to give him its energy just like it forced the martial heaven continent. The world trees were starting to revive from their withered state. In three days, there was a thrumming forest in the primal chaos space. They had been fully restored. Long Chen took a deep breath. With his primal chaos space restored, he wouldn't need to worry about being injured. If he had possessed such an ability in the outside world. Perhaps he would have already beaten those fellows. However, wasting three days like this was painful. The very reason they had all entered ahead of time was to get a head start. At this time, there were fewer people and many treasures. It was the best time. Fortunately, Long Chen still felt good. In any case, his luck wasn't good enough to find treasures. Raising his power was what truly mattered. After three days, Long Chen had grasped the essentials of the Yun Yang world. The heavenly deos here were not that different from the martial heaven continent. He could still unleash the same magical arts here. Their power wasn't lower or greater. The only curious thing was that the sun in the sky always hung in the same spot. It was daytime here all the time. He had to rely on his own sense of time to calculate how many days had passed. Although my luck's not good, I should still look around. What if I do run into something? Long Chen looked around and decided to go in the opposite direction from Yi Lingxin. However, he suddenly had a strange urge. Looking in a certain direction, he decided to go that way. You've also sensed it, asked Devil Moon. Sensed what? I just feel like there's something that belongs to me. It's very strange. I feel the same. Go and take a look. Suppress your aura. There's a nest of heaven devouring ants to your right. That kind of ancient species is extremely tough. Their defensive prowess is so great that even 12th rank magical beasts would be in danger if they encountered them. Warned Evil Moon. They're so powerful. Long Chen was surprised. Even 12th rank magical beasts could be killed by a nest of ants? Just as he was startled, an angry roar came from the distance. The sky darkened. Long Chen immediately found a tall tree to conceal himself. Through the leaves. He saw a terrifying scene. There was a wall of giant black ants with a pair of wings, shining with a metallic luster. Their wings flapped rapidly, releasing an ear-piercing sound. The ants also had a pair of black pincers on their mouths. Sticky liquid was dripping off of them. A drop of that black liquid fell near Long Chen. Long Chen hastily dodged, and a large hole appeared in the tree. It then began to rapidly wither. This poison's really fierce millions of those ants flew into the sky. Long Chen saw a giant magical beast being dragged through the air by the ants. 
going in the direction that Ian Devil Moon had sensed. It seemed that they were hunting. That magical beast was at the twelfth rank. Surprisingly, it was actually a sword spine armor dragon, the magical beast he had used to run rampant in the ancient race's territory. This sword spine armor dragon's aura was on the same level as that one. However, it was now unable to move. Its mouth opened a few times, but no sound came from it. Just as Long Chen was staring in shock at these heaven-devouring ants, a piece of tree bark behind him moved. Chapter 1811 Thick Earth Essence Fruit Translator Born to be the piece of tree bark slowly rose, and six spindly legs appeared below it. It was a strange fist-sized mantis. It was right behind Long Chen. One of its sharp legs silently pierced toward him. It had just moved when it was sent flying by a flick of Long Chen's finger. It smashed into the tree and exploded. When it exploded, Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. He found that when it exploded, a disgusting stench rapidly filled the air. The heaven-devouring ants flying through the sky suddenly split their formation, with a portion of them flying over to Long Chen. The mantis's stench had attracted them. Fuck, isn't this too unlucky? cried Long Chen. He turned and fled. The heaven-devouring ants were attracted to the commotion and a portion of them immediately began to chase him. They were extremely fast. They smashed through the trees in between them and Long Chen. From a distance, it was like an angry dragon was winding its way toward Long Chen, blowing apart all obstacles in its path. Aren't they too fast? Long Chen cursed. Their wings seemed to be tearing through the void. Their speed was hard to believe. When he turned back and saw the sticky fluid dripping out of their pincers, he felt a chill. If bitten, that poison was not something an ordinary person could endure. Even the sword spine armor dragon with its terrifying defenses was unable to resist that poison. Suddenly, green dragon scales covered Long Chen's body. He had summoned the green dragon battle armor. It's useless. The heaven devouring ants have low intelligence and cannot sense the might of your dragon blood. You can't scare them away, said Evil Moon. The might of dragon blood was able to suppress all other beasts. That was due to the innate reverence those beasts felt. However, it was only useful against beasts with brains. These heaven-devouring ants were not intelligent enough. They continued to charge after him. Then what am I supposed to do? Kill them, raged Long Chen. That's no good either. If you kill them, they'll send out a message that will draw over hundreds and thousands of times the ants. You should just run. These things are very irritating. Other magical beasts are also irritated by them. So even the other beasts in the surroundings aren't bothering with you when you charge into their territory. Seeing the heaven devouring ants chasing you, as long as you don't charge into their nests, they'll avoid you, said Evil Moon. Was it really possible to possess such heaven defying backlock? He had just started roaming around when he was hunted down by an army of heaven devouring ants. Since Evil Moon said that other magical beasts also tried to avoid these heaven-devouring ants, Long Chen chose to jump out of the forest and fly through the air. As Evil Moon had said, despite sensing several powerful auras as he passed through their territory, those powerful existences only let out low growls of warning and didn't attack Long Chen. There were hundreds of thousands of heaven-devouring ants chasing him. Long Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. If everyone was afraid of these heaven-devouring ants, weren't they also a protective talisman? When he thought of that, he charged into the territory of one of those powerful magical beasts, ignoring its roar. What are you doing? shouted Evil Moon. Long Chen didn't reply. He charged straight toward that powerful aura. He quickly saw a mountain with a tiger standing at the peak. The tiger's fur was standing on end. It was ready to attack at any moment. It was a twelfth-rank magical beast and roared at Long Chen threateningly. What are you shouting for? Come and bite me. Long Chen charged straight at it. The tiger found that its roars were unable to frighten Long Chen away. So it actually turned tail and fled from its home. Hey, brother tiger, don't run. I still have something to discuss with you, shouted Long Chen. But the tiger ignored him. Its huge body instantly vanished. Coward. Don't you feel ashamed of your title as king of the forest? What happened to your dignity? Your integrity? You. Oh. Nice. Treasures. Long Chen suddenly noticed a certain tree on the mountain. The mountain was bare except for this one tree. 
It was extremely conspicuous. The tree had brownish yellow fruit growing on it. Each of them was the size of a plate, and they shone faintly. Long Chen's spiritual strength reached out. He was shocked to find that although this tree was 3,000 meters tall, its roots were spread throughout the giant mountain. There was an endless amount of earth energy being absorbed by it. It's the thick earth essence fruit. The earth essence makes it a divine fruit for earth cultivators. Long Chen laughed delightedly. He rushed toward it, but after a moment's hesitation, he didn't take it. Instead, he used his spiritual strength to grab half the matured fruit. This tree was being guarded by that tiger. It took 10,000 years to bloom, 10,000 years to bear fruit, and 10,000 years for that fruit to mature. The tiger had been guarding it bitterly for so long. If he took the entire tree, he'd feel bad. More importantly, this tree was too big and would take him some time to transplant. When the heaven-devouring ants arrived, they wouldn't care how precious this tree was. They would definitely destroy it in their desire to kill him, and that would be a waste of a natural treasure. Long Chen gathered half the fruit and cut off one of its branches, tossing it into the primal chaos space. The branch quickly began to grow roots and thrive in the primal chaos space. Seeing there was no problem, Long Chen changed directions, bringing the army of heaven devouring ants away. He finally experienced how refreshing it was to exploit someone else's power for his own gain. He scared off three powerful 12th rank magical beasts in a row, but regretfully, other than the thick earth essence fruit, he didn't gain anything else. He knew that the territory of 12th rank magical beasts could not be ordinary. They had to have precious medicines or divine fruit somewhere, or they wouldn't make that place their territory. Regretfully, the army of heaven devouring ants didn't give him enough time to look around. As he ran, he experienced just how terrifying this yin yang world was. There were terrifying magical beasts everywhere. Twelfth rank magical beasts were on the level of nether passage experts. Without a divine item, ordinary nether passage experts weren't even a match for these magical beasts. In particular, he sensed an even more terrifying existence as he ran, but he decided not to go mess around there. That terrifying existence gave him an extremely dangerous feeling. That sensation of danger was even greater than what came from the army of heaven devouring ants behind him. If that magical beast wasn't afraid of the heaven devouring ants, he would be caught between the two of them. That was definitely too dangerous. As he ran, Long Chen didn't use the celestial lightning body blink. He wanted to see if he could profit a bit more from the heaven devouring ants. He turned, going in the direction that he had picked out originally. A long train of ants followed him as he flew through the air. They were like attendants sending off him, the emperor. That feeling is growing more distinct. It seems it's nearby, said Evil Moon. Long Chen nodded. He also sensed an aura that was both familiar yet foreign. It was very strange. Hey, why did they leave? Long Chen suddenly saw that the heaven-devouring ants following him had dropped in number. A few of them had flown off, and another portion was starting to slow down. There were now only 10,000 of them left. Long Chen suddenly turned and attacked them. What the? Brat, you're crazy. Have you started to feel emotional toward them after being chased for so long? Shouted Evil Moon, unable to comprehend just what Long Chen was thinking. When Long Chen turned against them, those heaven devouring ants were provoked, and the ones that had been slowing down once more shot after him. However, many of them had already left. There were only 20 to 30,000 of them left. That was still terrifying enough. Their black bodies filled the sky. Boom. Long Chen extended a hand. A giant cauldron appeared and devoured those ants. This cauldron was the blazing dragon cauldron that had been with him all this time. Although it was just an ancestral item, having been constantly nourishing it with his soul, it had reached its absolute peak. It was only the slightest bit weaker than a divine item. The blazing dragon cauldron slammed shut, and the heaven devouring ants began to crazily attack from within. Even the blazing dragon cauldron was rumbling, seeming on the verge of breaking apart. Any ordinary ancestral item would have exploded. Long Chen slammed a hand on the blazing dragon cauldron, and golden flames surged out, enveloping the cauldron. At the same time, golden threads intersected within, forming a net that bound the heaven-devouring ants. 
As Long Chen's spiritual strength erupted, those threads grew tighter and tighter until the heaven-devouring ants were no longer able to attack the blazing dragon cauldron. Although Long Chen had acted quickly, there were still countless cracks on the blazing dragon cauldron now. Damn, they really are terrifying Long Chen was amazed. The power of their pincers was immense. It was no wonder even 12th rank magical beasts would be run off by them Novaloon.com Why waste so much effort to trap them? Are you planning on making supplements? Mock Devil Moon. He. These are house pits for Meng Chi. Well, you don't need to ask. You wouldn't understand. Long Chen laughed and continued in his original direction. He quickly arrived at a giant cave. There was a hair-raising aura coming from within the cave that made cold sweat run down his back. What is this place? Mo Nian Side Story Chapter 1 Translator Born to be in the battle in the Qing Prefecture of the Eastern Wastelands, Long Chen had activated the Green Dragon possession to annihilate the Yun family and even fight against the Yun family's patriarch, forcing him to use his treasure item, the Jade Sea Gold Bell, that had been a world-shaking battle. Seeing that Long Chen had grown to such a terrifying level, large waves surged in Mo Nian's heart. Even having become a celestial, he felt the difference growing between him and Long Chen. Now, the Mo Mountain Seal had been exposed, and his grandpa Mo Yi had no choice but to bring the Mo family's experts away. Mo Yi had invited Long Chen to come, but Long Chen had declined. Hence, the Mo Mountain Seal rapidly flew away. Mo Nian looked back as Long Chen's figure shrank in the distance. In just a moment, he vanished from sight. Mo Nian couldn't help sighing. Mo Yi patted him on the shoulder. Child, what is there to sigh about? The world might be large, but as long as you're strong enough, you can control everything. If you're not strong enough, then no matter how big the world is, it has nothing to do with you. The Mo family was forced to split up and flee to various lands but they still refuse to let us off. They want us dead to the last. Before this, our little branch had had no way to deal with them. But when Long Chen gave his heavenly Tao seed to you, it caused a change in your heavenly Tao energy. You're not an ordinary celestial. So even if this matter with the Yun family didn't occur, I was still planning on bringing you to the ancestral lands to test your luck. Where are the ancestral lands? Asked Mo Nian. The central plains. Mo Nian was startled. He hadn't expected the Mo family's ancestral lands to be located in the land where heavenly geniuses were everywhere. If that was the case, then the Mo family's inheritance was many times greater than he had thought. Child, this world is so large that you can't even imagine it. The Central Plains is the stage of the real experts. Right now, you are only at the Meridian Opening Realm. In the Central Plains cultivation world, you aren't even an ant. But our time is pressing, so we don't have that much time to let you grow. That's why we have no choice but to gamble. If we win the gamble, we'll be able to restore our former glory. If we lose, the Mo family will never be able to extricate itself from its current predicament. An unprecedented graveness appeared on Mo Yi's face. Grandpa Bang. Suddenly, the Mo Mountain Seal shook intensely. Mo Nian staggered. Be careful. We've already reached one of the Martial Heaven Continent's seven great danger zones. The Martial Heaven Sea Ring. Everyone, get down into the underground space, ordered Mo Yi. The Mo Mountain Seal flew for three months, and they ran into quite a few dangers. When going through transportation formations, they had to endure countless rude interrogations. Fortunately, the Mo Mountain Seal looked like a spatial treasure item and didn't draw too much attention. However, Mo Nian was still irritated. The great and supreme grandpa of his was actually being ordered around by other experts. Those people's cultivation bases were so high that the Mo family was powerless to resist. This was Mo Nian's first time feeling just how important power was. Without power, wanting to live a life of dignity was a pipe dream. After layers of obstructions, after carefully traveling for months, after detouring around several dangerous regions, they finally arrived at a certain place. However, upon arriving here, Mo Nian couldn't believe his eyes. This place was actually a pile of ruins. It was the kind of ruins that could not be ruined anymore. There was not a single brick or tile that was still intact. It was filled with a desolate and gloomy air. This is our Mo family's ancestral land. 
It's already been flipped over by countless experts as they search for our treasures. HMPH. Too bad they all returned empty-handed. Do they think my Mo family's inheritance would be open to outsiders? Sneered Mo Yi. An invisible surge of energy came from the Mo Mountain Seal. All right, Nyanur. I have used the Mo Mountain Seal to open the inheritance. Go into the ancestral space. Ripples came from below the ruins. The space around Mo Nyan twisted and he vanished. Haha, <laughs> dregs of the Mo family. You finally appeared. Now let's see where you can run to. Mo Nyan had just been sent through when countless figures appeared. Surrounding the Mo Mountain Seal. Mo Yi's expression completely changed. Mo Nyan Side Story Chapter 2 Translator Born to be Mo Nyan's vision darkened. With the space around him twisting, he felt like he had been devoured by a monster. He was within endless darkness. After a long moment, Mo Nyan felt his feet step onto solid ground again. He saw that he was in a dark world. There wasn't the slightest light here, and the air was filled with the aura of decay. After that, Mo Nyan spread his divine sense to take a look around and couldn't help but jump in shock. This place was actually an underground tomb, and there were thousands of stone coffins around him. He was in the middle of those coffins. This ancient tomb was hundreds of miles long. Mo Nyan took out a light stone and gasped at what he saw. This is my Mo family's ancestral land. There were countless statues against the walls, and they were filled with a sacred and noble air. Two statues were particularly large. They were almost lifelike, and it was like light was flowing within their eyes. An immortal charm danced within them. Buzz. When Mo Nyan looked at the two giant statues, a sea of runes appeared behind him. His heavenly Tao manifestation activated all by itself. There were also two figures in his manifestation. They were remarkably similar to the two statues. These two should be the originators of my Mo family. These statues, they're so magnificent and powerful. Could it be that I, Buzz, just at this moment, the dust on the two statues began to fall. Divine runes began to appear around them. Those runes were very faint at the start, but they grew brighter and brighter until they were like stars. At the same time, a gentle energy enveloped Mo Nyan. Mo Nyan involuntarily fell to his knees. He kowtowed to the two statues and felt a resonance deep within his soul, as well as a kind of bloodline summoning. He knew that they had to be the ancestors of the Mo family. Disciple Mo Nyan greets the ancestors. Mo Nyan kowtowed nine times. Everyone entombed here had been a big figure of the Mo family. Although they had already died, the fact that they could be buried here in the Mo family's ancestral lands meant that they had been outstanding and remarkable figures in the Mo family's history. Unfortunately, no one replied to him. When he finally rose, he saw that the two figures in his heavenly Tao manifestation had formed a connection with the two statues. It seemed that they were in the midst of communicating. The runes on the statues grew brighter and brighter. Following that, they began to float off the statues and fly toward Mo Nyan. They merged into his manifestation. Boom. When the first rune merged into his manifestation, it was like a meteorite had fallen into a calm lake. A powerful explosion drove Mo Nyan to his knees. He coughed up blood, and cracks appeared all over his body. He had almost died from the huge amount of energy that rune had brought. He couldn't help being horrified. It seemed that he had come too early. With his current cultivation base, merging with such terrifying runes was too much. He should have cultivated to a higher level before attempting it. Just merging with one rune had almost shattered his bones. When he looked at the hundreds and thousands of runes currently floating off the two statues, he immediately felt despair. The second rune would definitely kill him. However, his body was locked in place by some invisible energy. He couldn't even run. Just at this moment, the tomb began to shake. The thousands of coffins had blood-colored runes light up. At the same time, web-like runes appeared on the ground. They connected to all the coffins. While Mo Nyan was at the very center of the web. Mo Nyan Side Story Chapter 3 Translator Born to be Mo Nyan was standing at the center of thousands of coffins. And the ground was covered in a web of runes connected to all the coffins. Energy was coming from each strand of the web and surging toward Mo Nyan. Mo Nyan's body shook. What shocked him was that the energy coming from the coffins was actually very gentle. It was nourishing his body endlessly. 
His body was like a dry river finally being nourished by water. It was greedily absorbing this energy. Boom. Suddenly, Mo Nian's aura surged. He had directly leaked from the meridian opening realm to the Xi'anchen realm. Furthermore, his aura was still continuing to rise. First Havenstage of Xi'anchen. Second Havenstage of Xi'anchen. Third Havenstage of Xi'anchen. With each breath, his cultivation base increased by a minor level. Even Mo Nian was stunned. He didn't dare to move. He had never imagined a person could undergo such a crazy advancement. Boom. At this time, over ten of the two statues runes merged into Mo Nian's body. He once more coughed up blood, his body almost exploding. However, as the energy of the coffins entered him as well, his body was constantly nourished and growing stronger. His cultivation base crazily advanced. Sixth Havenstage of Xi'anshan. Seventh Havenstage of Xi'anshan. Eighth Havenstage of Xi'anshan. Endless energy came from the coffins. At the same time, the statue's runes continued to merge with him. There were two kinds of energy within his body, one constantly causing destruction, while one was constantly upgrading and restoring his body so it could handle the destruction. They had reached an equilibrium. Boom. A crazy aura surged out of Mo Nian's body as he entered the sea expansion realm. Without him doing anything, a huge amount of the statue's runes surged into his dantian. His GC grew explosively. 100 miles. 200 miles. 300 miles. Mo Nian felt like he had gone crazy. He had never heard of someone entering sea expansion this quickly. Fortunately, he still knew the theory behind sea expansion. For other people, increasing the size of their GC required medicinal pills. A GC of 300 miles marked someone as an elite. However, he had reached that level in just a single breath. 400 miles. 500 miles. Mo Nian's GC quickly grew to 10,000 miles. His heart was pounding wildly. 10,000 miles was known as a limit. But based on how things were going, he was going to break right past it. Bang. His GC broke that limit instantly. It was like something had exploded. And it grew explosively. 3,000 miles. 10,000 miles. 30,000 miles. Mo Nian couldn't believe his eyes. With the help of his ancestors' runes, his GC had been expanded to 30,000 miles. He had never even heard of a GC this large. After his GC had reached its limit, more energy surged into his dantian, instantly filling it. First Havenstage of Sea Expansion Second Havenstage of Sea Expansion Even after entering the Sea Expansion Realm, the energy of the coffins and the runes of the ancestral statues continued to pour into his body. Mo Nian was completely dumbstruck now, as none of this was within his control. His cultivation base was just crazily growing. Even he was starting to get afraid. This advancement was too fast. At the same time as he felt his cultivation base explosively grow, something new had appeared in the depths of his soul. He was about to check what it was when, boom, he directly entered the foundation forging realm. Upon reaching the foundation forging realm, a rune on the forehead of each of the ancestral statues flew off and into Mo Nian's head. Two runes slowly appeared on Mo Nian's forehead. They got closer and closer until they finally merged into one new rune. When the new rune appeared, this entire underground world began to shudder. Those runes were also trembling. However, that new rune quickly faded, and the process of foundation forging started. His original rune appeared. Following the appearance of the first original rune, his cultivation base began rising once more. First Havenstage of Foundation Forging. Second Havenstage of Foundation Forging. Mo Nian's cultivation base rose all the way to the ninth Havenstage of Foundation Forging before it stopped. The web of runes on the ground faded, and the coffins also became calm. It was like nothing had happened, but Mo Nian was staring at his own hands blankly, feeling the unprecedented power in his body. He couldn't believe what had just happened. Suddenly, the wall behind Mo Nian shattered, revealing a stone gate. It slowly opened and five colored light flooded the underground space. The five elements on hunting Bao Mo Nian let out a startled but ecstatic cry. Mo Nian Side Story Chapter 4 Translator Born to be Mo Nian's heart pounded wildly. It was a beautiful five colored bow. It was long and simple. There were runes outside it, and within it, 
There seemed to be five colored blood flowing. He felt five different kinds of energy inside the bowstring. Each type of energy, metal, wood, water, fire, and earth was extremely pure. His own blood began to surge when he saw this bow. He fell close to the bow. It's the first generation's five element sun hunting bow. Mo Nian's voice was quivering. This was his Mo family's most priceless treasure. It actually hadn't been lost. It had been hidden here. That was the number one divine bow of the Mo family. Due to how much time had passed, the five element sun hunting bow had become a legend. He reached out to touch the five element sun hunting bow when light suddenly exploded out of it. A vast surge of energy poured into his body. The void rumbled as this underground world shook. Mo Nian's cry of the heavenly deus once more appeared automatically, along with the two figures within it. However, at this time, the two figures slowly dissolved. Replacing them was a five-colored bow. Within the sea of runes behind Mo Nian was now a beautiful scene. There was a bow hanging in the air, while below it was a world of mountains and rivers that it dominated. Information poured into Mo Nian's mind. There was so much that he almost fainted. Eventually, the light faded. The five element sun hunting bow had vanished, and his manifestation was gone as well. Mo Nian slowly opened his eyes, and a rune was flowing within each of them. That rune was an image of the five colored bow in his manifestation. Upon extending his arm, the five element sun hunting bow appeared in his hand. Mo Nian was shocked as well as excited. The five element sun hunting bow had actually merged with his body, and he could summon it freely. Ha ha ha. I, Mo Nian, am no longer the old Mo Nian. My name will definitely resound throughout the central plains. Mo Nian laughed grandly. Boom. Suddenly, all the statues and coffins within this underground world exploded. Mo Nian was shocked. Before he understood what was going on, runes wrapped around him, and the space around him twisted. He reappeared above ground. It was currently noon. The sun was hanging high in the sky. He saw that this was the place he had entered from. Where is the Mo Mountain Seal? Mo Nian suddenly noticed that his surroundings were empty. The Mo Mountain Seal and the people of Mo Gate had all vanished. Buzz. Just as he was stunned, countless runes filled the sky. They formed a giant barrier that trapped him. Ha ha ha. Bastard of the Mo family. You finally appeared. We had to wait three years for you. Suddenly, dozens of figures appeared in the sky. Their auras were very powerful, and they were all kings at the Jade Core Realm. Their leader was a large man with a thick beard. He was smiling upon seeing Mo Nian. Mo Nian had a bad feeling, but he was still calm. Who are you? Where is my family? Who I am isn't something you need to know. As for your family, he, you'll know very quickly. That large man laughed and waved his hand. The formation of runes transformed into dozens of chains that bound Mo Nian. Laughing, the large man arrived in front of Mo Nian. He reached out for Mo Nian's neck. Suddenly, one of Mo Nian's fingers pressed against that large man's head. Then, an invisible surge of energy obliterated his head. This sudden change caught those kings off guard. Their leader had actually been slain. Most shocking of all, those runic chains that had been binding Mo Nian had shattered like mud. Your guts aren't small. Mo Nian had conducted a soul sark and learned everything that had happened. His killing intent surged. His family had been captured. This brat's strange. Attack together. Shouted another king. Attacking with his fellows. Die. Mo Nian extended a single finger. A single rune appeared at the tip of his finger and was launched. That rune shot out and exploded halfway there transforming into multiple arrows that instantly annihilated those kings before they could even dodge. Without even glancing at these people, Mo Nian vanished from his original location. Two mountains away from the Mo family's ancestral lands, there was a giant prison. Mo Gate's people were currently imprisoned here. Fuck. It's been three years. Guarding these pigs all day is so boring. Bang. A disciple wearing white robes who looked to be in his twenties tossed a talisman into the prison. The talisman exploded, and cursing voices came from within. Only then did that disciple smile as if this was the only way to alleviate his boredom. Really, why did we get sent to do such a boring mission? Did that little fellow even manage to enter their so-called ancestral land? What if he died inside or can't get out? 
Will they keep us guarding here forever? Another disciple tossed a similar exploding rune inside. This time, screams came from within as someone had clearly been injured. The prison had been built inside a cave, so they couldn't see what was happening inside. There were hundreds of disciples guarding this place, and some of them were bored enough to use this method to pass the time noveloon.com he. What do you think would happen if we tossed in 10 low-grade exploding talismans at once? The scream seemed to have provoked them. One disciple took out a handful of exploding runes. You can't. We're ordered not to cause too many casualties before that Monion returns. Countered one disciple. It's fine. Ten low-grade exploding talismans won't kill that many. He. I'll try it. That disciple smiled and threw in ten exploding talismans. However. Just as they were thrown in, a large hand caught the exploding talismans and stuffed them into that disciple's mouth. Boom. That disciple's head exploded. His headless corpse slowly fell to the ground. Who are you? The other disciple shouted in alarm. When the blood and dust fell, it revealed Mo Nyan's eyes that were filled with killing intent. An icy voice rang out. The person who will send you to hell. Mo Nyan's side story chapter 5 translator. Born to be the person who will send you to hell. A figure slowly appeared within the dust and blood. No one could see his face clearly. They only saw two eyes filled with killing intent. Eyes that looked to belong to the Grim Reaper. Die. Mo Nyan extended a finger. And runic arrow shot out. Blowing these disciples to bits. Nyan or. Is that you? Mo Yi's voice came from within the cave. Trembling with emotion. An elder in tattered robes quickly appeared at the entrance of the cave. It was his grandpa. His current grandpa had lost his old kingly appearance. His hair was disheveled. And even one of his arms was gone. He looked like a beggar. I'm sorry. You've had to suffer. Seeing his grandpa's appearance. A sour feeling appeared in Mo Nyan's heart. All this time. His Mo family had to have suffered endlessly. Mo Nyan then flashed into action. He grabbed the chains of the prison gate. At this time, the other people of the Mo family also rushed forward. However, their bodies were chained and shackled. Don't bother with us. You have to run. There's Mo Yi immediately shouted at Mo Nian when he saw him grab the chains. These chains were extremely tough and had restrictions on them. Just as Mo Nian touched the chains, three giant gates slammed shut behind him, trapping him here. Mo Nian didn't even glance at the gates. These chains, which were on the level of king items, shattered in Mo Nyan's hands. They were as weak as paper to Mo Nyan. Grandpa, don't worry, since I came, it's because I can bring everyone out. Mo Nyan reached out and broke the chains on Mo Yi and the others. Seeing Mo Nyan easily break these incomparably tough chains without the slightest effort, the Mo family's people were delighted. Only then did they notice that Mo Nyan's aura had already risen to the foundation forging realm. Nyan or, in the ancestral land, you, Mo Yi was about to ask what had happened when laughter rang out from outside. Ha ha ha, the Mo family's people are really stupid. You actually fell into our trap so easily shockingly. This place was already surrounded by thousands of experts. That laugh came from a soul transformation expert and despair filled the hearts of the Mo family's people. Even if Mo Nyan had reached the foundation forging realm, there was no hope. Grandpa, back up and be safe. I'll eliminate them. Boom. In front of Mo Yi and the other shocked gazes, Mo Nyan walked directly out of the cave. Runes lit up on his foot. Even backed by a powerful formation, those gates along with half the mountain were blown back Novaloon.com with half the mountain smashing toward them. Those experts outside jumped in fright. A soul transformation expert unleashed a punch that blew the mountain apart. Before he could do anything else, Mo Nyan appeared in front of him and extended a finger. A hole appeared in the head of that soul transformation expert. He fell. A shocked expression still on his face. Mo Nyan had annihilated his Yuan spirit in one attack. Chi Luo after slaying that person. Mo Nyan's gaze swept through the crowd. He quickly saw a certain man with a full beard. That man immediately felt ice cold upon being stared at by Mo Nyan. Hand over the Mo Mountain Seal. Mo Nyan was like a death god looking at someone whose life was about to reach an end. Attack together. Kill this evil brat. That man roared. And together with four other soul transformation experts. The five of them launched all out attacks. 
Runes filled the sky. A five-colored bow appeared in Mo Nian's hand. As soon as it appeared, all the Mo family's people let out startled cries. They recognized it. Mo Nian held the bow in his left hand, while his right hand pulled back the bowstring. Heaven and earth rumbled as energy gathered. Not good. Those five soul transformation experts suddenly sensed a strong smell of death at the same time. They almost instinctively turned and fled for their lives. However, it was too late. A translucent arrow shot out, transforming into thousands of homing bolts that struck the five of them. Four of them were instantly turned to dust. As for the other experts that had yet to even have a chance to attack or even shout, they were also directly blown to bits. Mo Nian reached out and grabbed the soul survivor, the soul transformation expert called Chi Luo. Chi Luo's whole body was like mud with a bloody hole in his chest. Mo Nian's arrow had shattered his meridians, and even his Yuan spirit was on the verge of dissipating. Within Chi Luo's spatial ring, Mo Nian found the Mo Mountain Seal. He released it, allowing it to rapidly grow larger in the sky. Mo Yi and the others were ecstatic. They flew out of their prison flying to the Mo Mountain Seal. It was like they had finally returned home. After finding the Mo Mountain Seal, Mo Nian killed that Chi Luo. Another soul transformation expert was slain. Mo Yi was wild with joy. He had already ordered disciples to quickly clean up the battlefield. Nianur, it seems you've found the Mo family's ultimate inheritance in the ancestral lands. Ha ha ha, there's finally hope of getting vengeance. However, our enemies are still too strong, so we need to run for now. Once you're strong enough, we'll get our vengeance. There are still several things we need to do. First we have to gather the other branches of the Mo family silently, said Mo Yi after the battlefield was cleaned up. Mo Nian nodded. They returned to the Mo Mountain Seal, and it flew off. Watching looking at this place fade into the distance, Mo Nian clenched his fists. He hadn't expected that he wouldn't be able to sense the flow of time within the ancestral land. Three years had passed without him noticing. Long Chen, I've already found my inheritance. What about you? Don't get thrown too far into the distance. Without you here, the central plains won't be as interesting. At this time, Mo Nian still didn't know that Long Chen had long since come to the Central Plains and was starting to flip the heavens in a certain region. Chapter 1812 Metal Devouring Evil Dragon Cave Translator Born to be the cave was dozens of miles wide. It was pitch black inside, and an evil air came from within. There were also some bloodline fluctuations that made Long Chen's heart pound. This should be a metal devouring evil dragon cave. It seems we came to the right place. There might be something we want inside, said Evil Moon excitedly. Metal devouring evil dragon? What is that? Does it belong to your evil dragon race? Asked Long Chen. This cave looked too frightening to enter. The dragon race is so large that you can't even imagine it. Just the evil dragon race has countless branches. You saw a purgatory evil dragon in purgatory, which also belongs to the evil dragon race. However, amongst the evil dragon race, it is my dark evil dragon branch that possesses the greatest combat power. However, our strongest divine abilities are not dependent on our physical bodies. When it comes to the toughest physical bodies, the metal devouring evil dragon would be number one. Other than devouring flesh, they're a strange variety that also devours large amounts of metal or that makes their bodies extremely tough. And in particular, their teeth and claws can easily tear through our bodies. So we never allow metal devouring evil dragons to approach us, said Evil Moon. Really, they're that amazing? Then didn't we come here for nothing? You're still sealed, and I'm only at the soul transformation realm. Wouldn't entering be suicide? Long Chen was speechless. This was just more bad luck. If he startled a metal devouring evil dragon inside, he wouldn't get out no matter how many lives he had. Don't worry, the metal devouring evil dragon is already dead. It still retains its essence blood, which is what you sense. If you can obtain its corpse, it will be very beneficial. Although this metal devouring evil dragon's cultivation base should be around the mid-twelfth rank. So in terms of human ranks, your nether passage realm's life realm, it was extremely powerful when it was alive. Yan Nanshan might not be its match. Let's enter carefully. If we're lucky and I can obtain some dragon marrow. 
I'll be able to loosen the sovereign seal slightly. Then I'll be able to use at least ten times the power I can now, said Evil Moon. Toward the end, its voice quivered slightly in anticipation. Long Chen could only thicken his skin and advance. Evil Moon was resting on his shoulder, ready for any sudden change. Once they were in, a chilly evil air made goosebumps appear all over Long Chen. Yes, one portion is its dragon might, while another is just innate fear. The evil dragon pressure indicates how pure its bloodline is. This kind of bloodline power can be raised by slaughtering more, said Evil Moon. Then why don't I naturally release this kind of aura? I only release something when I'm filled with killing intent. It's completely different from you, said Long Chen. Evil Moon was truly terrifying. Each time he used it to fight, its innate evil air would cause others to tremble in fear. Even top experts would expose weaknesses more easily under that pressure. In a life and death battle, Evil Moon's pressure would make an opponent's mind chaotic. It would lead to errors in judgment and delays in reaction speed. Your kind of scenario is very rare. According to reason, after killing so many experts, you should have accumulated a great deal of their resentment. Normally, when people are infected by that much resentment, their minds and hearts will become twisted. That makes them cold and merciless. And yet you remain the same silly person as always. Evil Moon sighed. Can I take that as praise? Asked Long Chen as he carefully advanced one step at a time. You can take it as that. It's very curious. My dark evil dragon race has a method to absorb this resentment into our scales to create a powerful pressure, strengthening our dragon might, as well as stopping the resentment from affecting our minds and souls. However, you don't have that resentment around you. It's like you haven't been affected at all. Wait, no. Evil Moon suddenly let out a startled cry. What is it? Long Chen jumped, immediately stopping and looking around. Oh, sorry, it's nothing. I just thought of something ominous. You can continue. Evil Moon apologized for the disruption. However, just then, it had thought of the Long Chen that had appeared in purgatory for just a moment. That Long Chen had been wild, arrogant, domineering, merciless, and bloodthirsty. Weren't those precisely signs of someone being infected by that immense resentment? When he wanted to warn Long Chen about this, the instant that thought appeared in Evil Moon's mind, a terrifying sensation of danger enveloped it. It seemed that this was a taboo that could not be spoken. Are you testing my gods? You almost scared the crap out of me, raged Long Chen indignantly. They were currently within the metal devouring evil dragon's cave. Any sudden action could frighten someone to death. Just as they were speaking, Long Chen saw a giant skeleton ahead. It looked like an earthen dragon. Its flesh had already vanished, and its bones sparkled like jade. There were still runes on the bones emitting powerful pressure. Damn, the skeleton of a twelfth rank magical beast. Long Chen carefully climbed up the skeleton. He arrived on its skull and recognized the identity of this skeleton. It was a rodent-type magical beast. Most likely, it had been a giant rat. But as for what it was specifically, there was no way for him to know. Its crystal core has already withered. It's impossible to turn its skull into a crystal bone. So its useless Long Chen jumped off. The crystal core was already dim. He couldn't help shaking his head. He tossed the skeleton into the primal chaos space. What surprised him was that this skeleton, which was as hard as divine items, was slowly devoured by the black soil, giving him immense life energy. Faint mist filled the primal chaos space. The thick earth essence fruit tree rapidly grew. He, at least I got a bit of benefits. Long Chen smiled. This broken skeleton of a twelfth rank magical beast had brought him a nice surprise. If there were more skeletons here, it would give him endless life energy. Evil Moon. Do you know how this rat died? I can't tell. Asked Long Chen. It has no injuries on its body and there are no signs of struggle. Its death is really strange. Let's be careful. My guess is that there might have been many magical beasts that placed their sights on the metal devouring evil dragon's corpse, and this rat might have been killed by them. Most rodent magical beasts have very weak spiritual strength. It wouldn't be strange for it to have been killed spiritually, said Evil Moon. Long Chen nodded and continued onward. However, after just a while, he saw a pitch black head blocking the cave. It was the head of a centipede. 
It was lying there with its eyes glaring at him. It's already dead. Long Chen had already taken a couple of steps back when he found that while the centipede was still emitting an alarming aura, its spiritual fluctuations had vanished. It was also a corpse. He carefully jumped onto its head. This giant centipede's body was hollow. It was just a husk. Originally, he had still possessed some hope. But when he opened its head, he felt disappointed. Its poison sack had been taken, while its crystal core was ruined as well. It was like something had sucked it dry. Although it was said that a 12th rank magical beast's body was comparable to a divine item, that would only be true while their divine runes were intact. With their crystal core withered, those divine runes would fade away. This corpse was also worthless. Although its teeth and outer shell might possess some value, Long Chen didn't care too much about that. It was possible to refine it into some weapons or armor, but their power would be lower than that of divine items. Hence, he tossed it into the primal chaos space's black soil. Long Chen continued forward. Everything in front of him was pitch black, and he couldn't see the end. He was starting to get a bad feeling. These two magical beasts had died in a bizarre way. It made him feel like this cave was too dangerous. However, since he had already come here, he was unwilling to leave without getting to the bottom of the cave. He didn't dare to spread his spiritual strength to investigate what was going on here. He didn't want to disturb whatever was inside. Having completely suppressed his aura and his spiritual strength, he carefully advanced. The cave was extremely deep. Miles later, he found another corpse and this time of a python. Its flesh had also vanished, leaving behind only its skeleton. There was still nothing valuable on its body, putting away its corpse. Long Chen continued onward. This time, he didn't encounter a magical beast's corpse. If this cave hadn't been just one straight path, he would have thought that he had taken a wrong turn somewhere. He spent the better part of the day creeping forward carefully. Finally, he saw a faint glimmer of light in the distance. His guard rose as he slowly walked over. After a few more turns, he arrived at a large and spacious area. When he poked his head in to look around, a chill went through his body. Chapter 1813 Fighting the Metal Devouring Evil Dragon Translator Born to be this large space was filled with skeletons. Long Chen looked and saw at least over 30 corpses, all belonging to 12th rank magical beasts. Just seeing a single skeleton of a 12th rank magical beast was already shocking enough, but seeing so many gathered together was another matter entirely. Long Chen suppressed his wildly beating heart, doing his best to stay calm. He crept forward and saw that this was a giant underground space. There were skeletons everywhere. In front of them was a giant stone pillar. There was a giant dragon skeleton coiled around it. This dragon skeleton looked like it had been made of gold. Divine light was still shining from it, illuminating this underground world. This golden skeleton was definitely a true member of the dragon race, not a drake. It had two horns on its head to distinguish it. This should be the metal devouring evil dragon. It actually reached the death realm. It seems it forcibly broke through, and its longevity ran out causing it to die here, said Evil Moon. The human race's nether passage realm had corresponding levels amongst 12th rank magical beasts. There were four steps. Stabilizing one's power upon entering the nether passage realm, the life realm, the death realm, and the samsara realm. The first step was essentially not even a realm. It didn't require comprehension. Just some time. It was the latter three realms that were very difficult to cultivate. Each of them was a threshold that could result in death. Originally, Evil Moon had thought that this metal-devouring evil dragon had only reached the life realm, but unexpectedly, it had entered the death realm. However, it had exhausted its life energy while in the death realm, not possessing the ability to transform death into life. It had died, but its skeleton was perfectly preserved. Evil Moon, I don't think it's so simple. Based on my years of experience with bad luck, I smell something fishy, said Long Chen cautiously. It really is strange. Its skeleton is still perfect, and its divine runes are still shining. That means its crystal core is still intact. Furthermore, look below its neck. Its reverse scale is still present and thrumming with dragon blood. That's what drew us over, said Evil Moon. 
Long Chen looked at where Evil Moon was pointing and noticed a golden scale floating in front of the skeleton's chest. Because its entire body was golden, that scale was covered up by the golden light. He hadn't noticed it at first. Most importantly, these skeletons are too bizarre. So many magical beasts died here. I feel like this is a suddenly. The cave rumbled, and Long Chen felt something moving behind him. Looking back, he jumped. At some unknown time, the path behind him had vanished. He was stuck here Novaloon.com when Long Chen turned back. He saw that there was now a path behind the metal devouring evil dragon. That path was precisely the one he had entered from. He had no idea what had happened, but he had been moved into a death trap without realizing it. If he wanted to get out, he would need to get past the metal devouring evil dragon and the mountain of skeletons. Just at this moment, the giant dragon skeleton on the stone pillar began to move. Its dragon head slowly turned toward Long Chen, and its mouth let out a booming voice. I really didn't expect to smell such a familiar scent. Ha ha ha, amazing. If I can devour you, I should have enough life energy to rise from the dead and step into the Samsara realm. The metal devouring evil dragon's voice rang through the air. It was speaking the human language. Long Chen came to a sudden comprehension. So you were playing dead, using your essence blood to draw these magical beasts over and then killing them for their life energy. Wrong. HMPH. The metal devouring evil dragon race disdains feigning death. I simply failed while attempting to break through to Samsara. My life energy was lacking, and even when I sacrificed my physical body, I was still unable to transform death into life. But then a few idiots began bumbling over here, attracted to my essence blood. Did they think they could take it? Even after failing my breakthrough, killing them was easy. But after absorbing their essence blood, I found that the life energy within them could allow me to attempt to break through again if I accumulated enough of it. Human race brat, you're very good in particular. You actually have true dragon essence blood on you, and it's so pure. Just who are you? The metal devouring evil dragon's large eye cavities began to twinkle with a cold light. Who am I? If you want to know who I am, stand firm. I am the 17,589th generation heir to the divine dragon race. My name is Long Chen, ancestor to all dragons BOM. The metal devouring evil dragon's eye suddenly unleashed a ray of divine light. This underground world shook intensely, and Long Chen's mind sea quivered as an unmatched power invaded it. It was a golden sword that was trying to destroy his mind sea. However, it had just appeared when the Divine Gate Star activated. A ray of light shattered the golden sword. Fuck. Can you at least let me finish speaking? Shouted Long Chen. To dare insult my dragon race. You have some guts. The metal devouring evil dragon clearly wouldn't fall for Long Chen's lies. It opened its mouth. And a wave of golden light spread. Long Chen's soul immediately felt like it was about to break. It was like millions of needles were stabbing into his head. A sea of spiritual strength was crashing down on his mind sea. However, with his divine gate star, that terrifying spiritual strength was unable to land a critical blow. No wonder those magical beasts were killed without being able to struggle. Your spiritual attacks are really vicious, said Long Chen. It's not just a spiritual attack. The dragon might made them unable to resist at all. However, it is useless against you. That's enough. Stop probing and kill it. Evil Moon didn't even wait for Long Chen. Its black marks lit up, and an evil air filled this space. It was sucking Long Chen's spiritual yuan away. Split the heaven six. Long Chen launched his strongest attack. Evil Moon rumbled, and it was like a bolt of black lightning crashing down on the waist of the metal devouring evil dragon skeleton. Its skeleton was cleanly cut in two. The metal devouring evil dragon roared furiously. This is the aura of the Dark Evil Dragon. You, you, a member of the Grand Dark Evil Dragons, have actually been refined into a weapon by humans. Evil Moon didn't reply. Its two dragon marks lit up, and killing intent sword as it attacked again. Boom. This time, its slash landed on the metal devouring evil dragon's head. It was a heaven-shaking collision that caused Long Chen's hands to split open and bleed. Evil Moon itself went flying out of his grip. Dark Evil Dragon, don't you claim to be the Emperor of the Evil Dragons? What happened to your dignity? What happened to your integrity? 
You're an insult to the evil dragon race. The metal devouring evil dragon was infuriated. Although it only had half its body now, its sharp claws extended. Its claws looked like four golden hooks slamming toward Long Chen. Lightning flashed. Long Chen used the celestial lightning body blink to dodge this attack. As a result, its sharp claw landed against the wall, and this incredibly tough wall was cut through like it was tofu. Its sharp claws began to fly through the air as quick as lightning. Long Chen repeatedly dodged. Each time, those claws nearly struck him. It was incredibly dangerous as he weaved through the air. Just as it was crazily attacking Long Chen, Evil Moon suddenly slashed onto its neck, landing right on a joint. Its head came crashing down. Even once its head fell to the ground, its skeleton, which had now been split into three portions, suddenly began to move. All three segments reconnected. Long Chen, splash some of your essence blood onto its bones. Don't let it merge, shouted Evil Moon as it attacked again, sending the head flying. Long Chen didn't tarry. He flashed toward its neck and spat out a mouthful of blood. It landed on the bone. Long Chen was surprised to find that when his essence blood landed on its bones, its original golden color rapidly transformed into a white color. His essence blood contained true dragon essence blood. That was an essence blood that suppressed all other dragons, including their dragon bloodlines. The metal devouring evil dragon still had a bit of its essence blood in its skeleton. But when it encountered true dragon essence blood, it was instantly suppressed. It wasn't even able to unleash its divine abilities. Long Chen repeatedly flashed through the air, spitting out blood on the segments of the metal devouring evil dragon's skeleton. It was no longer able to reconnect its body. Bastards, you can all die. The metal devouring evil dragon's body seemed to have been sealed, leaving behind only its head. At this moment, it opened its mouth and 72 sharp golden teeth stabbed toward Evil Moon like 72 swords. Boom. Evil Moon was sent flying by one of the teeth. The metal devouring evil dragon's teeth were its toughest weapon. Evil Moon was actually unable to block them. With Evil Moon sent flying, another one of those teeth pierced toward Long Chen. It was fast, and there was nowhere for him to run. Chapter 1814 Golden Dragon Teeth Translator Born to be Little Heaven Long Chen shouted, and the heaven-flipping seal appeared before him. It transformed into a giant divine seal that slammed forward. Boom. The entire underground world shuddered. The heaven-flipping seal was sent flying by the 72 golden dragon teeth, smashing into Long Chen's body. Long Chen coughed up blood. He felt like his entire body was about to collapse. These dragon teeth were all incredibly tough. Each one was as heavy as a star. If it hadn't been for the heaven-flipping seal, he'd have definitely died. Long Chen fled. He definitely couldn't allow himself to be struck by this attack again. Just at this moment, Evil Moon stabbed down from the air, inserting itself into the metal devouring evil dragon's head and nailing it into the ground. Long Chen, get over here. Use a dragon blood seal, shouted Evil Moon. Long Chen immediately appeared beside Evil Moon, and a blood-colored rune appeared on his forehead. This was the seal used to control magical beasts. He didn't quite know what Evil Moon was planning. Evil Moon absorbed the blood-colored rune and sent it into the metal-devouring evil dragon's head. Bastard. My metal-devouring evil dragon race never submits to others. Idiot. Who wants you to submit? Black Chi suddenly burst out of Evil Moon. The golden head was quickly infected by that Black Chi. Cracks covered it. Finally. The metal devouring evil dragon's skull shattered, and a giant crystal core appeared. Long Chen's blood colored seal was on top of it. I'll absorb its soul essence, and that will conveniently help you subdue these dragon teeth. Those are true treasures. Focus. Using the crystal core as a foundation, try to control the dragon teeth, said Evil Moon. Black Chi continued to flow out of Evil Moon. It enveloped the golden crystal core causing it to start turning black as well. The roaring of the metal devouring evil dragon could still be heard coming from the crystal core, but it was unable to stop the invasion of the black chi. Its roaring gradually grew quieter. Just at this moment, the 72 golden dragon teeth in the air shuddered. A small blood-colored rune appeared on each of them. There was no need for Evil Moon to remind him. Long Chen formed hand seals, 
and his spiritual strength was fully activated. It poured into the crystal core, and the blood-colored runes on the 72 golden dragon teeth grew brighter and larger. In the end, every dragon tooth was completely covered in the blood-colored runes. After fully covering the dragon teeth, the blood-colored runes shrank until they left behind a small mark at the bottom of each tooth. Success. Long Chen laughed. He waved his hand, and the 72 dragon teeth began to revolve around his body like 72 sharp swords. Ha ha ha. Finally these dragon teeth were just like Xiang Yunfei's bone spears. However, the dragon teeth were far stronger. These dragon teeth will be your weapons. So count yourself lucky. If you hadn't possessed dragon blood, there would have been no way for you to subdue them. But then, calling you lucky is a bit much. Your luck really is garbage. I ended up underestimating the metal devouring evil dragon. If I hadn't been hiding my aura from the start, a sudden sneak attack from it would have resulted in us being buried here, said Evil Moon with some apprehension. It had been too dangerous. If Evil Moon hadn't severed the metal devouring evil dragon's body at the start, causing it to lose a large portion of its combat power, they might have died. If it hadn't been cut apart, the complete metal devouring evil dragon's power would have definitely been even greater. It wasn't claimed to be unrivaled in close combat for nothing. Don't blame everything on my luck. Wasn't it all because of your own mistake of judgment? He, however, I won't blame you. As long as the results are good, it's fine, laughed Long Chen. He gripped one of the dragon teeth, and it shrank and grew according to his will. It was as cold as ice, a bone-chilling cold. Most importantly, its weight was absolutely shocking. They were even heavier than Evil Moon. Holding them with one hand was a bit too much. No wonder even the heaven-flipping seal with its immense defensive power was unable to block them, muttered Long Chen. The heaven-flipping seal was a defensive divine item, and since its item spirit was free to grow and unleash its power, it wasn't limited by Long Chen's cultivation base. It could be said to be his strongest defensive tool. However, even it almost failed today. Long Chen had almost been killed. The metal devouring evil dragon's strongest point is its ability to gnaw on precious ores and grow stronger from their essence. That's why their teeth are natural treasures, and they stay with them for a lifetime. Since this metal devouring evil dragon has reached the death realm, its teeth are definitely much stronger than most half-step divine items. However, without the crystal core, Using them will require a great deal of Yuan spirit energy. Fortunately, your Yuan spirit is extremely powerful and capable of using them. You should take some time to nourish them with your soul and erase their vigilance toward you. They still have some remnants of their old master's will, but wiping that out shouldn't be difficult with your abilities, said Evil Moon. Long Chen nodded. He lovingly touched these golden dragon teeth for a while longer before putting them into his spiritual space. Once there, he used his spiritual strength to erase the lingering will of the metal devouring evil dragon. After he was finished with that, he would nourish it, making the teeth feel better toward him. Other than the dragon teeth, he was also excited to have obtained an evil dragon's reverse scale. There was a large amount of evil dragon essence blood within it, and it contained all the energy it had been accumulating to attempt its breakthrough to the Samsara realm. Now it had benefited Long Chen. The essence blood inside this reverse scale was enough for all the dragon blood warriors to use it. He, once they refined the evil dragon essence blood, they would be true dragon blood warriors. You've taken the dragon teeth and reverse scale already, but don't forget the skeletons around. Of course, the metal devouring evil dragon has sucked away the power of their flesh and crystal cores, so you'll only be able to use them as fertilizer before you start tidying up the battlefield. First absorb the metal devouring evil dragon skeleton into your primal chaos space. I want to absorb its dragon marrow. He, just wait, Long Chen. I'm going into seclusion, and after I'm done absorbing the dragon marrow, I'll show you my true power, laughed Evil Moon excitedly. This time, Long Chen and Evil Moon had both benefited. Long Chen had gained the 72 golden dragon teeth, which would become his strongest weapon. While Evil Moon had obtained the metal devouring evil dragon skeleton, its goal was its dragon marrow. Long Chen put the metal devouring evil dragon skeleton into the primal chaos space, 
He found a secluded place for Evil Moon to calmly absorb it. Once Evil Moon absorbed its dragon essence, this corpse would be useless. Originally, Long Chen had also wanted the Dragon Claws, but Evil Moon had told him that it wasn't possible. The Dragon Claws were different from the Dragon Teeth. The Claws didn't possess their own runes, so they weren't very useful. Most importantly, if he took away the Dragon Claws, the Dragon Marrow would no longer be complete. Only then did Long Chen learn that the Dragon Marrow was not just located in its spinal column, but throughout all of its bones. As for its teeth, rather than calling them bones, they were more like solid metal. They were the main tools the metal-devouring evil dragon used to eat its food. They might be priceless treasures to Long Chen, but they were useless to Evil Moon. So the two were taking what they each needed. After handling the metal-devouring evil dragon, Long Chen ran over to the Mountain of Skeletons. Just as Evil Moon said, they were essentially useless. All their energy had been sucked dry. They could only be used as fertilizer. Long Chen tossed them into the primal chaos space as black soil. Endless life energy filled the primal chaos space. That thick earth essence fruit tree didn't even need Long Chen to urge it on. It grew crazily. It was already several times larger than the original tree he had gotten it from. And it was covered with golden fruit that had already fully matured. The essence inside these fruits was also much greater than the original fruit that he had gathered. As for the world trees. They had already grown to their peak. They were no longer absorbing life energy. The dense life energy in the primal chaos space was condensing into mist. Seeing this, Long Chen was delighted. Based on his previous experience, when this mist reached its peak density, it would condense into divine life elixir. That was something that could instantly heal a person. It was a life-saving treasure. Although celestials and empyreans were capable of borrowing heavenly Tao energy to heal. It wasn't as fast as the Divine Life Elixir, and it also used up more energy. After recovering a few times, they might have used up so much spiritual yuan that their combat power would drop. Seeing this scene in the Primal Chaos space, Long Chen thought that he would only need a few 12th rank magical beast corpses to start condensing the Divine Life Elixir. After cleaning up the battlefield, Long Chen looked through every corner of this space. He wanted to see if there were any other precious natural treasures in the metal-devouring evil dragon's lair. However, he didn't find anything. Only then did Long Chen return along his original path. He quickly saw the light of the outside world. When he exited the cave, he took a deep breath of fresh air. Although he hadn't spent that much time in the metal-devouring evil dragon's cave, the attack of its dragon teeth had almost taken his life. After brushing past death, he was refreshed by the sunlight. Just thinking about how close it had been made him apprehensive. The yin-yang world was truly dangerous. Just as Long Chen was stretching his waist, a golden cauldron appeared in the air, and divine light flowed out of it, enveloping Long Chen. Long Chen, hand over the treasures you got, and I can give you a quick death. A figure appeared on top of the cauldron. Looking arrogantly down at Long Chen. Chapter 1815 The Power of the Dragon Teeth Translator Born to be Long Chen had just walked out of the cave when a giant cauldron locked him down with its divine light. There was a man forming hand seals on top of the cauldron, and heavenly Tao energy was flowing around him. He was an extremely powerful Empyrean. He looked coldly at Long Chen. As long as he wished it, his cauldron would launch a fatal blow. It could be said that Long Chen had been careless to land in his trap. If Long Chen made any strange movements, it would draw a full strength attack from him. This person was extremely skilled in lying in wait and launching sneak attacks. Since you know me, I can't quite understand why you would target me. Other than that, your robes belong to those of the righteous path. Why are you making yourself my enemy? Asked Long Chen indifferently. In this world. The ones who could con Long Chen were Heavenly Fate Island. Everyone else was just playing around futilely. The reason Long Chen had walked out so brazenly was precisely to see what this fellow was thinking. He was clearly from the Righteous Path, and since it was the Martial Heaven Alliance that commanded them, even if they weren't friends, they shouldn't be enemies. The man sneered, feeling that victory was already in his grasp. He confidently said, Long Chen, you're too arrogant. Do you think just your name would be able to scare off others? I'll tell you. 
If it weren't for Ku Jin Ying's backing, you'd have long since been killed by others. Do you think you'd be able to act so unrestrained otherwise? I admit that in a one against one, I might not be your match. But you're so arrogant as to not even examine your surroundings with heavenly Tao energy. Oh wait, you're not even an Empyrean. He hadn't fought Long Chen before, but he had seen recordings of his fights and he suddenly recalled that Long Chen wasn't an Empyrean. This guy had been drawn over by a certain aura within this cave, but as soon as he arrived, he sensed terrifying fluctuations from within. Those fluctuations had quickly calmed down, and he wisely deduced that there had to have been a large battle inside that had just wrapped up. So he had hidden himself to see if there was an opportunity to launch a trap. He had been pleasantly surprised to see Long Chen brazenly swagger out of the cave. That was a huge opportunity for him. Even if you aren't an Empyrean, you could have at least kept an eye on your surroundings spiritually. If you had, perhaps I wouldn't have attacked. However, you were too arrogant. Do you really think the Martial Heaven Alliance belongs to you? What stupidity. Hand over the treasures and I'll let you die a quick death. Sneered the man. His heavenly Tao energy was growing stronger. Despite his absolute advantage and having Long Chen ride in his trap, he was still on guard. Other than the lock of his divine item, he was also drawing over more heavenly Tao energy to make sure that Long Chen had no chance to escape. Long Chen shook his head. None of that is important. The important thing is that you are a disciple of the righteous path, but you are still attacking me. Are you not afraid of this matter being spread? The Alliance head would destroy your sect. That was the point that Long Chen did not understand. No matter how blinded by greed a person was, they wouldn't take such a huge risk. Ha ha ha. Do you think the Martial Heaven Alliance is still the old Martial Heaven Alliance? It has long since stopped being united. Hu Jin Ying is being a tyrant, ignoring the opposition of the sects to protect you. She has long since made herself enemies amongst the Alliance. Our sects don't even need you to kick us out of the Alliance. We've already announced that we're leaving. Other than that, in the Yin Yang world, who would know that I killed you? Even if they did. So what? Killing others for their treasures is normal in the Yin Yang world. I can entirely say that you were the one after my treasures and wanted to kill me for them. So I had no choice but to strike back and accidentally killed you. HMPH. At that time, I might even be called a hero to the common people. Quite a few sects would probably come to thank me. Long Chen nodded. Yes. And most importantly, you'll be able to make a name for yourself. That's a pretty good idea worthy of taking this risk. You're wrong. This isn't risky at all. You're already locked down by my earth-suppressing soul cauldron. You are my prey caught in my trap. And there's no chance for you to reverse the tides. Every bit of your energy is under my watch. As soon as you move, my earth-suppressing soul cauldron will annihilate you. You are already a dead man. So I'd advise you to hand over your treasures quickly. If you do. I won't humiliate your corpse, said the man. His heavenly Tao energy had reached a peak. He was very crafty. He thought that Long Chen was stalling him, but he was also stalling to strengthen his heavenly Tao energy. His earth-suppressing soul cauldron was rumbling with power. It had truly sealed all of Long Chen's paths. Long Chen seemed to not see this man constantly strengthening his divine item. He said, well, I suppose I don't need to ask any more questions. This is a waste of time. Smart. That's right. There's no need to waste any more time. No one will come save you here. Hand over your treasures. First of all, that black saber of yours. Long Chen's evil moon was extremely famous within the Martial Heaven continent. Countless experts were greedy for it. No one had ever managed to figure out its origin. But they knew it was an extremely terrifying divine item. Sorry, it's still busy. How about I give you this? A small tooth suddenly appeared in Long Chen's hand. Its entire body was golden, and runes were flickering on it along with a strong evil air. That man was delighted to see such a treasure, but his expression immediately changed. Die. He noticed that this golden dragon tooth's runes were rapidly growing brighter. A terrifying and fierce aura was rising, a sign that it was about to attack. Hence. He smashed his earth-suppressing soul cauldron at Long Chen. It was definitely an amazing divine item. Even amongst half-step divine items, it had to be amongst the top. 
It was no wonder he dared to attack Long Chen. Sorry, I'm not tired of life yet. Long Chen indifferently smiled. His Yuan spirit appeared out of his head. Sitting in midair, his Yuan spirit formed hand seals. The golden dragon tooth explosively grew, piercing toward the earth suppressing soul cauldron. Boom. Divine light exploded in the sky, mixed with a scream from that man. Bang. A giant cauldron smashed into the ground. Its runes had gone completely dim, and there was a hole in its bottom. That terrifying divine item had actually been pierced by the golden dragon tooth, and its item spirit had been slain in an instant. It was completely crippled. As for the golden dragon tooth, after piercing the cauldron, its golden light grew brighter, and it actually broke through the void, trying to flee. Where do you think you're going? Long Chen shouted, and his Yuan spirit formed new hand seals. A blood-colored rune lit up on the dragon tooth. After twitching a few times in the sky, it returned into his spiritual space. Long Chen hadn't expected the dragon tooth to devour the cauldron's item spirit to strengthen itself. After getting a bit stronger, it had instinctively tried to escape his control, but it was suppressed now. The golden dragon teeth actually had such instincts. It seemed that Long Chen would need to fully erase their wills before he could use them easily. Otherwise, they might try to attack him at any time. Such a weapon was meaningless to possess. On the other hand, its power was shockingly great. Evil Moon had said that the teeth of the metal devouring evil dragons were the most valuable things on their bodies. Their value far surpassed all their essence blood. So even their reverse scale was ranked second behind their teeth. The sharpness of the dragon teeth was monstrous. It was no wonder Evil Moon had said that the dark evil dragon race which was ranked number one amongst the evil dragons, still didn't dare to let metal-devouring evil dragons get close to them. If they were bitten, they would definitely be doomed. Long Chen put away the dragon tooth and looked at the man. He was currently screaming and clutching his head. Clearly, the destruction of his divine item spirit had implicated his own soul. It was no different than having his soul torn apart. I think we can properly talk now, said Long Chen. Suddenly, a yellow talisman appeared in that man's hand. He crushed it, and spatial energy surged around him. This was an extremely ancient transportation talisman that activated almost instantaneously. Regretfully, Long Chen was even faster. A lightning blade slashed through the air, cutting off the man's head. His body was transported away, but his head was now in Long Chen's hand. Looks like you don't want to talk. All right, I'll find out for myself. Long Chen sent a lightning needle into his head. Chapter 1816 Endless Magical Beasts Translator Born to be so that's what's going on. No wonder he didn't care about the Martial Heaven Alliance. Long Chen had slain this person's Yuan spirit and gone through his memories. Although some memories were sealed, he still managed to gain some useful information from the fragments of his soul. That person's sect had already cast its lot with Pill Valley. As for Pill Valley, they had guaranteed that after their sect left the Martial Heaven Alliance, as long as they didn't attack the Corrupt Path, the Corrupt Path wouldn't dare to touch a hair on their heads. That was the same as what Long Chen had predicted. Without that promise, they wouldn't dare to leave the Martial Heaven Alliance. The Corrupt Path was most likely watching from the sidelines. At least, based on the current state of the continent, the fracturing of the Martial Heaven Alliance was extremely beneficial to them. What the corrupt path feared was a united righteous path. Whether the righteous path was fully united by Kujianying or Pill Valley, they would pose a fatal threat to them. However, now the righteous path was split between Pill Valley and Kujianying. Neither of them was able to fully unite the righteous path. So the corrupt path was happy to just keep watching them shoot themselves in their collective feet. Through that person's memories, Long Chen had learned that it wasn't just Pill Valley. Even the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, and the other top forces of the continent had expressed that they would support any sects leaving the Martial Heaven Alliance, making them feel even safer. What a pack of fools. The righteous path is being split up, and in the end, it will be devoured bit by bit. Is a verbal guarantee worth anything? Are they going to spend their lives listening to them for survival? Sneered Long Chen. Perhaps there was more behind it, but no matter how many benefits had been given to those sects, 
it didn't change the fact that a fractured righteous path was much weaker. Once the righteous path was fractured, the righteous sects would lose more power and authority gradually. Like this, the entire world's power structure would change. Pill Valley seems to have grown restless. It seems the Huaian sect conducts its business better even now. The Huaian sect had only revealed the tip of the iceberg. They showed great farsightedness. While the state of the board was still chaotic, it was possible to obtain great profit, but it was also possible to lose everything. The arrival of the Great Era hadn't caused the Huaian sect to make any large movements. They were still waiting for their chance. They were acting in a much more stable manner than Pill Valley. Long Chen looked at the crippled cauldron on the ground. After a moment's hesitation, he decided to just leave it there. It was already fully broken. After all, his current status was no longer the same. If he brought it back to Guoran, through Guoran's tempering and dissolution process, he would be able to come out with some good materials. But it would be at most a hundredth of the materials that had gone into the cauldron. It wasn't worth it to waste so much effort for that. He took out a beast hide as well as a brush. He began to draw his own map. This map belonged to the expert he had just slain, and it recorded the places he had gone. Long Chen added the places he had gone to it. Within the Yun Yang world, slowly probing the entire environment was the only option. It was also the simplest option. When two people encountered each other, they could share their maps. There would definitely be some areas that corresponded. Normally, as long as the two sides weren't mortal enemies, everyone would always choose to exchange maps. This was beneficial to everyone. Looking at the map, Long Chen cursed. This fellow had only encountered two 12th rank magical beasts on his path. As for himself, he had encountered them over and over again. If it hadn't been for the protection of the heaven devouring ants, he would have been trapped by magical beasts. He felt like he had fallen into a magical beast hive. Hopefully, Yi Lingxin wasn't so unlucky. Long Chen prayed for her. But considering the luck of an Empyrean, he felt that she should be fine. Without the heaven-devouring ants, he had to be more careful. Evil Moon was focused on devouring the dragon marrow and couldn't help him for now. As for the dragon teeth, their will had not been erased. So they weren't too useful yet. The heaven-flipping seal had just used up the majority of its energy. Right now, he had lost many of his trump cards and needed to be more careful. As he carefully advanced. He kept his aura fully suppressed. He encountered quite a few terrifying auras, but this was Long Chen's first time obediently detouring around them all. What made Long Chen speechless was that the area he was going through was filled with 12th rank magical beasts. Sometimes there was only a thousand miles between two of the magical beasts. This was extremely rare. A 12th rank magical beast's attack could cover tens of thousands of miles. So such a short distance was clearly threatening. However, they were all living peacefully. That was a bizarre scenario. Something must be up with this region. Long Chen came to a quick conclusion. If these were all magical beasts of the same race, perhaps it would be possible. But they were all of different breeds. Although he didn't dare to get too close to them. Just based on his spiritual perception, he could sense a subtle balance between these magical beasts. It was a strange feeling. It's too bad Meng Chi isn't here, or she'd be able to find some clues. I'll have to record this place. Meng Chi and the others should be entering soon. Once they're in, we'll come together. Long Chen made a mental note of this. The further he went, the more concentrated these magical beasts became. He felt like he had truly entered a hive of magical beasts. Clenching his teeth, Long Chen carefully crept toward a phoenix lying on a large mountain. One of its giant eyes suddenly opened, and it glanced at Long Chen before actually ignoring him. Is that one sleeping? These magical beasts are definitely not normal. It seems they've come to an agreement not to disturb each other. Long Chen brazenly repeated this experiment on a white wolf. When he got close, it still continued lying on the ground. Looking at this wolf, a trace of sorrow appeared in his heart. He thought of Little Snow. Little Snow's crystal core was currently being nourished in the Myriad Spirit Diagram. According to Meng Chi, the Myriad Spirit Diagram was a marvel that was constantly strengthening Little Snow's crystal core. 
It was like a seed being constantly strengthened by the myriad spirit diagram's miraculous energy. If Long Chen could subdue a twelfth rank magical beast, it would even be possible to merge Little Snow's crystal core with it and take over its body. Long Chen was a bit moved upon seeing this wolf, but he decided against it. This place was surrounded by twelfth rank magical beasts, and wanting to fight it one against one was impossible. Furthermore, the intelligence of magical beasts wasn't high. If Little Snow was affected and its intelligence dropped, that would be terrible. A magical beast wasn't his target. Magical beasts weren't very talented. They were mostly limited by their breeds. If a magical beast's limit was the ninth rank, then it would never be able to break through to the 10th rank. Little Snow had previously broken through its limits repeatedly, resulting in a mutation. But even a mutation had its limits. In the end, it was unable to break through any further and took a curse for Long Chen, dying. So Long Chen didn't want this to happen again. He wanted a powerful Xuan beast for Little Snow to take over. Something on the level of true immortal Jiaoki and preferably a wolf-type Xuan beast. Long Chen got even closer to the wolf. It glared at Long Chen, baring its fangs threateningly, but it didn't make a sound. I have no evil intentions. I just want to take a look. I won't say or do anything. Long Chen waved his hand to it, indicating that he wasn't threatening it. He had just come to see what was going on. Although the intelligence of magical beasts was very low, with the nine-star hegemon body art, Long Chen was able to clearly convey his own will to others. This wolf should be able to sense what he was trying to say. As he had thought, the wolf's guard lowered slightly. It looked at Long Chen who was like a mosquito to it. It seemed it truly felt like there was no threat. Only then did Long Chen climb up a tall tree. A chill ran through his back. He saw giant magical beasts covering this land. Some of them were so huge that they blocked his sight. So he couldn't get a look at the core. He ran over to the wolf. Hey, can you help me out? Long Chen offered a medicinal pill. It was a spirit awakening pill. A tenth tier giant pill filled with spirituality. It was one of the top grade pills he had stolen from Pill Valley. The spirit awakening pill was used for increasing the intelligence of magical beast houseboats. It would make it easier for them to fight alongside their master. Although it wouldn't make them as intelligent as a human, it still had some effect. Considering that it was a 10th tier pill, it wasn't that effective for a 12th rank magical beast. But its spiritual fluctuations made the wolf's eyes brighten. Long Chen tossed it into its mouth. The wolf hesitated, but its intuition told it that this was something good. It swallowed the pill. Without another word, Long Chen climbed up the wolf's head. Standing on its giant head, he had an even greater view. When he looked into the distance, he almost staggered off the wolf's head. Chapter 1817 Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish Translator Born to be even with Long Chen's gods, he jumped. There was a circular mountain area in the distance, and there were powerful magical beasts around it for tens of thousands of miles. They had gathered neatly around the mountain. They had their eyes closed, seeming to be absorbing something. Amongst them were various breeds, but they were all 12th rank magical beasts. Even without using his spiritual strength, Long Chen was able to sense their terrifying auras. The ones closest to the ring were the most terrifying. If these magical beasts were to invade the martial heaven continent, it would be the apocalypse. Long Chen gulped. He had an urge to fly over and see what was going on in that circular mountain, but he suppressed that crazy urge. He couldn't even count how many terrifying magical beasts were surrounding it. The closest ones weren't as orderly as the ones where he was. Instead, they were randomly laying about. What is going on? Long Chen was befuddled. There were so many 12th rank magical beasts here, motionless. He slowly slid down the wolf. This place was too strange. Even he didn't dare to go any further and decided to make a detour. Once Long Chen was off, the wolf stood up. Perhaps it had been kneeling for too long. Hence, it stretched, its huge mouth opening as wide as possible. However, it didn't make any sound at all. It seemed that all the magical beasts here had agreed not to make any unnecessary sound. That's when it stood. Long Chen suddenly noticed a hole in the ground beneath it. Bursts of immortal spiritual chi were coming from it. Before he could get a closer look, the wolf knelt again, blocking it. 
It looked at Long Chen for a moment before closing its eyes and meditating again. Are they using the energy here to cultivate Long Chen felt like he had seen the truth. It was no wonder they were so neatly spread out. They were absorbing that mysterious energy. As for the powerful magical beasts surrounding the circular mountain, they had probably taken the best spots. Long Chen hesitated. He pushed apart the wolf's fur and tried to get underneath it, wanting to investigate this hole. Perhaps there was some treasure within. However, he had just moved when the wolf pushed Long Chen aside. It glared at Long Chen, baring its fangs at him. I just want to take a look. I won't disturb your cultivation, said Long Chen. Unfortunately, the wolf continued to bear its fangs at him menacingly. Fuck, with just this intelligence, you are only capable of being a magical beast. That spirit awakening pill isn't able to pierce your wooden head. Long Chen was speechless. This wolf didn't understand him at all. Or perhaps even if it did, it wouldn't trust him. He could only leave. Long Chen went in another direction, slowly making a detour around this area of magical beasts. The further he went, the less common they became. That actually made him even more careful. Now that he was further away, these magical beasts wouldn't have any misgivings about attacking him if he entered their territory. As he was traveling, Long Chen suddenly looked to the left. He sensed the aura of a human expert. Who's there? Long Chen had just gotten closer when Sword Chi slashed toward him. He easily dodged. I'm not here to attack you. I came to exchange maps, said Long Chen indifferently. Hmm, you're injured. So it was senior apprentice brother Long Chen. The person Long Chen had sensed was a wary man. He sighed when he saw Long Chen. His face turned pale as his attempt at acting tough to cover up his injuries vanished. His aura became chaotic. What happened? Asked Long Chen. He handed over a medicinal pill. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. This is too precious. If you just guard me for four hours, I can fully recover. That disciple was stunned when he looked at that medicinal pill. It was a top 10th tier medicinal pill. Although he was also a disciple of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The Martial Heaven Alliance was immense. And it wasn't as if he had had any past relations with Long Chen. He was too embarrassed to accept. I don't have that much time to guard you. Just take it. After exchanging maps, we can hurry up with searching. Based on how much time has passed, the yin-yang world should be fully open soon. A huge wave of people will be entering. So our chances of finding treasures will drop, said Long Chen, directly tossing the pill to him. The disciple gratefully accepted the pill and swallowed it. Rumbling sounds came from his body. His manifestation appeared behind him, and his injuries rapidly healed. The disciple immediately took out his map, while Long Chen took out his. The two of them examined them and quickly confirmed where they met up. Don't go here. This place is filled with terrifying magical beasts. When you exchange maps in the future, if they're on our side, warn them of this. If they're enemies, say that there are magical beasts gathered here and it's very bizarre. The situation is unclear but there might be treasures, said Long Chen. The disciple nodded. After hesitating, he said, Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I have something to say that I don't know if I should mention if you have something to say, then just say it. We're all busy. Well, I actually removed one spot from this map. That place, there are treasures. Of course you wouldn't share where the treasures are with others. I wouldn't share it either, said Long Chen indifferently. From this person's injuries, Long Chen had guessed that he had been attacked by others due to treasures. Treasures that someone else found were their matter. So Long Chen wasn't angry. Speaking of it really shames me. I'll make a long story short. I saw a giant lake in that direction. There were scarlet blood spirit fish from the ancient legends inside that lake. Scarlet blood spirit fish? The ones that legends say can revive a person's bloodline and make their spirit blood surge? The Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish capable of reviving the power of one's ancestors. Yes, them. Now Long Chen couldn't remain as calm as before. Those fish were treasures from ancient times. They were like catfish, but their entire bodies were as red as blood. In the Martial Heaven continent, they had long since gone extinct. In fact, their entire existence was a legend. People suspected whether or not they had ever existed. Even in the ancient era. 
The scarlet blood spirit fish was an extremely rare existence. They were life forms with their own spirituality. Although they didn't possess any attacking power, they were very smart. The legend said that they only lived in environments with the purest spiritual chi. If the spiritual chi was too sparse, they would die. Just based on their living environment, there was no way they could survive in a world like the Martial Heaven continent. Even with spirit gathering formations, it wasn't enough. The Martial Heaven continent spiritual chi was no longer pure enough. That was why Long Chen was so shocked to hear this disciple mention them. The Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish could greatly help him in the Dragon Blood Legion. The fish were able to excavate the greatest and most ancient power of a person's bloodline. That was practically a heaven defying ability. I noticed the lake first, and I spent five full days luring one of the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish. But as soon as it came out of the water, a bastard from the ancient race's sneak attacked me. If I didn't have armor protecting me, I'd have probably died. However, not only was I heavily injured, but he even snatched away the scarlet blood spirit fish, said the disciple hatefully. Now Long Chen had understood. This disciple had definitely been extremely excited at that time, while his sneak attacker was someone of great patience. Having attacked at the very moment this disciple had succeeded, for him to have survived that sneak attack was already impressive. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I wonder, the disciple didn't know how to actually ask the question he wanted to. Long Chen laughed. Let's go. I won't let you leave with nothing for such valuable information. Of course, the prerequisite is that we can obtain some of those scarlet blood spirit fish. I'm confident. To tell the truth, the scarlet blood spirit fish are extremely important to me. My ancestral bloodline has completely declined. If I could use the scarlet blood spirit fish to revive it, I would be able to bring honor to my ancestors. It's my greatest wish in life. My father is already so old, but he still used his life and death energy to send me through. I hope you won't laugh at me for being stingy, said the disciple awkwardly. The two of them began flying through the air. Long Chen naturally wouldn't bother him over this. The scarlet blood spirit fish was incredibly precious and he also wouldn't share information about them with others for free. What's your name? Sorry, I am Hua Zigwang from the Violet Light Sword Sect. The Western Xuan region's Violet Light Sword Sect is quite famous. Based on your name, your sect must have great hopes for you. Long Chen nodded. He had heard of this sect, as there were very few sword cultivator sects with any fame other than the Heavenly Sword Gate. Long Chen was about to ask about the situation in the Western Xuan region. Or more precisely, what had that fellow Mo Nian been up to? But suddenly, the mountain range in front of them ended. A lake appeared with immortal mist curled around it. The spiritual chi here was so dense that just taking a breath would refresh a person's entire body. Bastard. So you're still here. Hua Zigwang suddenly let out a furious roar. His sword came out of its sheath, and a violet sword light erupted, attacking a person at the lakeside. His name Ziguang means Violet Light. Chapter 1818 The Fishing Plan Translator Born to be Hua Ziguang let out a furious roar, and his sword let out a streak of light at the red-haired man on the lakeside. Even after being defeated, you dare to send yourself to your death. Today, I'll that red-haired man sneered upon seeing that violet sword light. However, within that endless sword light, he suddenly saw a black-robed man looking at him indifferently. His pupils shrank. Long Chen. Boom. Hua Zigwang's sword fell. The red-haired man had hastily dodged, while his own whip appeared, unleashing waves that prevented Hua Zigwang from approaching him. Sorry, we're busy. The red-haired man rapidly retreated as he summoned his power. His heavenly Tao energy was soaring, but a cold voice suddenly rang out from behind him, making his hair stand on end. At some unknown point, Long Chen had appeared behind him. He had no time to even wonder how Long Chen had gotten past his whip. Hence, he swung his whip at Long Chen. His whip had just moved when a scale-covered hand caught it. He suddenly felt a jolt of numbness. Terrifying thunder force was actually coming out of Long Chen's hand. The power the red-haired man had been about to use to activate his divine item was interrupted. He pulled as hard as he could, but he found that he couldn't budge his whip. Just at this moment. Violet sword light pierced through his head. The red-haired man's aura vanished. 
Hua Zigwang's attack had even killed his Yuan spirit. Nice attack. Long Chen smiled. He had been very close to the red-haired man, but Hua Zigwang's attack had stopped just three inches from Long Chen's head. However, Long Chen didn't even blink. The red-haired man's corpse fell from the sky, and Hua Zigwang shook his head. Without you, I would have less than 30% chance of defeating him. As for killing him, there would probably be no hope at all. I can't accept your praise. All right, no need for pleasantries. Look around to see if that scarlet blood spirit fish of yours is still alive or whether it has been turned to crap. Hua Zigwang hastily flipped through the red-haired man's spatial ring. He found quite a few treasures but no scarlet blood spirit fish. Hua Zigwang suddenly stabbed through the red-haired man's heart, and there was a scarlet sheen to the flowing fresh blood. He cursed. This bastard ate the scarlet blood spirit fish already. How hateful. This fellow had actually eaten it directly. It had to be known that a spiritual treasure like the scarlet blood spirit fish had to be consumed along with many other special medicines in order to fully stimulate its spiritual nature. Eating it directly meant that over 50% of its energy would be wasted. Thinking of that, Hua Zigwang had an urge to tear this corpse into a million pieces. This bastard definitely learned how I had lured the scarlet blood spirit fish, so he didn't want to leave, said Hua Zigwang. He looked at some leftover bait of his that was on the ground. Long Chen glanced at it and saw over 10 kinds of precious fruits and flowers crushed and pasted together. Hua Zigwang was quite smart to use this method. The scarlet blood spirit fish only liked to eat other things with great spirituality. Moreover, Hua Zigwang had also used a very tiny bamboo hook, as a metal hook was definitely unable to attract the scarlet blood spirit fish. As for the red-haired man, someone from the ancient races definitely wouldn't understand something like this. He probably didn't even recognize the ingredients in the bait. Long Chen also saw a sharp hook that the red-haired man had just made, most likely to imitate Hua Zigwang. There's a formation around this lake. Correct Long Chen looked at the vast lake. Yes, it's protected by a strange formation, and if you enter the water, your spiritual Yuan will be sucked away very quickly. Even your spiritual strength and Yuan spirit energy will rapidly run out. You'll die within an incense stick's worth of time. Furthermore, you can't attack the lake. I tested it and almost got killed by a rain of water arrows, said Hua Zigwang apprehensively. Long Chen couldn't help being lost in thought. Now he was feeling that the Yin Yang world was truly bizarre. How could a masterless world have such a formation protecting a lake? He looked at the lake. Then he thought of the circular mountain surrounded by magical beasts. Everything was so bizarre. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Let's fish together. With us working together, our chances should improve. Right now, we don't have to worry about others competing against us, so we should have pretty good odds. Hua Zigwang had already made several hooks, all made of bamboo. Even his string was made of the finest fibers at the bottom of tree bark. Long Chen hadn't expected Hua Zigwang to be such a craftsman. This kind of fishing method has a very low chance of success. Furthermore, more and more people will be coming as time passes. With so many people from various powers coming, these scarlet blood spirit fish will definitely flee when they sense their killing intent. Long Chen shook his head. According to Yan Nanshan, the Nether Passage experts had sacrificed so much of their life and death energy to send only the best of the best inside the Yin Yang world, just to get them 10 to 15 days of golden treasure hunting time. During this time, the number of people within the Yin Yang world was very low. Hence, their chances of having to fight over treasures were also low. This was the best time to gain some benefits. Once a huge mass of experts entered, there would be opposition. Sometimes an enemy might just destroy a treasure that they couldn't obtain just so you also couldn't obtain it. Cooking a good stew wasn't easy, but ruining it was simple. All you had to do was toss a ball of dung inside. This was the ninth day since they had entered the Yin Yang world. Time was going too quickly. It had taken Long Chen several days to get around the nest of magical beasts. His time had been wasted. If people started entering tomorrow, then there was no chance to succeed with Hua Zigwang's method. Any expert from the ancient races, corrupt path, or the Xuan beasts could just toss a stone in the water, shout, or release the slightest killing intent. 
and it would scare away the scarlet blood spirit fish. Then what do we do? If we don't do anything, we won't have any chance at all, said Hua Zigwang anxiously. Here, use the tree bark to make a net. We'll net the fish, said Long Chen. What? The scarlet blood spirit fish are very slippery. That kind of net won't catch them. They'll run, said Hua Zigwang. It's fine. The main thing is the bait. I'm an alchemist, and I can make a bait that they can't resist. Once they eat it, they'll fall asleep. Once there's enough of them, we'll pull up the net, said Long Chen. All right, then I'll listen to you. Hua Zigwang still followed Long Chen's instructions even though he doubted them. He flew to the forest and began stripping a tree bark. Based on Long Chen's design, he was weaving a net. Long Chen was very familiar with this kind of net. When he was young, he was constantly bullied. Without any companions, he always stealthily ran over to the outskirts. Having often seen fishermen fishing, he knew a great deal about this kind of fish trap. Once the fish entered the trap, the design made it difficult for them to leave. The inside was like a maze with only one exit. Hua Zigwang was creating the trap, while Long Chen was picking out special spiritual ingredients from the primal chaos space. It included seeds, flowers, and fruit. The scarlet blood spirit fish possessed great spirituality and only liked other things with great spirituality. This was something Long Chen understood even better than Hua Zigwang. He picked out the best ingredients, mashing them together. He made a flower ring. Hmm, it looks like a floral wreath? Well, that's fine. Long Chen wasn't very satisfied with his own craftsmanship, but he decided that it was good enough. With the flower ring complete, Long Chen also began refining some powders. He sprinkled them on the flower ring, and it began absorbing the powders Novaloon.com Long Chen was done quickly, but Hua Zigwang was still busy working, so Long Chen joined him. They quickly finished the fish trap. After finding a place near the shore with deep water, they slowly dropped the fish trap. There was a single long string the thickness of an egg attached to it. It was very sturdy. The water was clearly clear, and with their vision, they were able to see the bottom of the lake. They quickly saw two foot-long figures flit out of a crack at the bottom and swim over to Long Chen's flower ring. They've appeared, exclaimed Hua Zigwang. However, his excitement seemed to have startled the two scarlet blood spirit fish, and they vanished back into the cracks at the bottom. Your emotional fluctuations will be sensed by them. Calm down. Long Chen patted Hua Zigwang on the shoulder. Sorry, I know. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating that it was fine. About an incense stick's worth of time later, those two scarlet blood spirit fish swam back up. However, this time, they were very wary. They swam back and forth, moving as quick as lightning. After swimming around the trap several times, they finally slowly swam inside. They quickly reached the end. They swam around the flower ring a few times before carefully touching the fruit and petals Long Chen had added. When the first one finished eating a small petal, its movements became sluggish. The other one was also starting to react to the medication Long Chen had added. Just as Hua Zigwang's heartbeat was quickening from excitement, Long Chen lightly pressed a hand against his back. His powerful spiritual yuan sealed all the fluctuations coming from Hua Zigwang's body. Don't get emotional. You'll scare them off. Chapter 1819 Birdman of the Ancient Races Translator Born to be Hua Zigwang couldn't help being shocked. When Long Chen patted him on the back, he didn't have any ability to resist. His spiritual yuan was completely suppressed. For a person to completely suppress another person's spiritual yuan, they would need at least several times the amount of spiritual yuan the other person possessed. Although Hua Zigwang was also a disciple belonging to one of the top powers within the Martial Heaven Alliance, he couldn't fully trust Long Chen. However, this one move showed him that if Long Chen wanted to kill him, he wouldn't have any ability to resist. Now he knew just how terrifying the Devil King of the Eastern Wasteland was. Long Chen pulled on the fish net. It quickly reached the surface with seven scarlet blood spirit fish inside. Hua Zigwang was delighted. He had spent an exorbitant amount of effort just to get one, but Long Chen had gotten seven so quickly. Of the seven scarlet blood spirit fish, three were large, and four were small. The large ones were around a foot long, while the smaller ones were only three inches long. 
It went without saying that Hua Zigwang's craftsmanship was amazing. Even these small fish hadn't been able to escape his net. Upon being dragged out of the water, the scarlet blood spirit fish seemed to lose their agility and nimbleness. They were still sluggish, with the medicinal effects having not yet faded. Hua Zigwang took out a wooden barrel and carefully released them within, adding some of the lake water. This way, they wouldn't die too quickly. They should be able to survive at least a month. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you can keep them. Hua Zigwang respectfully handed them to Long Chen. They had been caught by him. He was worried that Long Chen would be irritated if he took them. You can keep them. Long Chen waved his hand. He had already examined these fish. The larger the scarlet blood spirit fish, the more essence they had. The smaller ones were no good. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, let's continue releasing the net and catch some more. When others come, they'll disturb us, and it'll be almost impossible to catch more. Pressed Hua Zigwang upon seeing Long Chen looking around instead of releasing the net again. This is the border. The fish are too small. Let's go test some deep areas. Long Chen began flying over to the center of the lake. The lake was so large that they couldn't see the end of it. Long Chen and Hua Zigwang flew for two hours without seeing the other side. Long Chen finally felt that this was enough and released the net. He suddenly found that the string they had to drag the net back was too short. Fortunately, Hua Zigwang was smart and had stored more of the tree bark. He rapidly made more rope, and the net quickly reached the bottom. It only took a few breaths time before a mass of scarlet blood spirit fish appeared at the bottom. Hua Zigwang hastily formed hand seals, completely suppressing his own aura without Long Chen needing to remind him. He spiritually said, Heavens, senior apprentice brother Long Chen, there are so many of them, and they're so big. Even his spiritual voice was quivering with excitement. These scarlet blood spirit fish were giant. At the very least, there were thousands of them, and the larger ones were three feet long. Long Chen was also delighted. However, he quickly found that things weren't working. The large fish entered the net and left sullenly because the net was too small to allow them to reach the bait. Only a few of them ate the bait and were trapped. He quickly pulled up the net, startling any remaining fish away. Only a dozen of them were caught inside, having eaten the bait. However, all of them were over a foot long. The larger ones were two feet long with astonishing blood chi. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, we've struck gold. Ten fish on this level are enough to fully awaken a person's bloodline power, exclaimed Hua Zigwang. The giant scarlet blood spirit fish probably took several centuries to grow so long. If they sent the net down again they would obtain enough for the two of them to use. At this time, a portion of the net had been broken by the larger fish. Hua Zigwang was about to repair it when he was stopped by Long Chen. You can keep these fish. As for the net, I'm not using it anymore senior apprentice brother Long Chen. You, these fish should be enough for you. So there's no need for you to risk any more danger. I'm preparing to use a different method to fish, and it might be risky. So you can leave. Long Chen had found that this method was insufficient to catch the largest fish. He also didn't have time to create a larger, sturdier net. He wanted to take a risk before more people came. Furthermore, he not only needed large fish, but he needed an incredible amount of them, or there wouldn't be enough for the Dragonblood Warriors. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, how can you say that? If it weren't for you, I probably wouldn't have gotten even one. I know how to repay kindness. If you think I'll leave just because of some danger, aren't you looking down on me? Said Hua Zigwang. Having received Long Chen's favor and gaining such a treasure, how could he leave him now? No, you misunderstand. That's all right. You can stay. Help guard me. If anyone gets close, have them scram so that they don't disturb the fish. If they don't listen to your warning, kill them. Can you do that? Asked Long Chen. Don't worry, as long as I'm alive, I won't let anyone disturb you. Hua Zigwang patted his chest. He had to pay back his debt of the 20 plus fish that Long Chen had given him. Otherwise, he wouldn't feel at peace. Even if he knew that he might die in battle soon, he was duty bound not to turn back. All right, then stay in the air and keep an eye on the surroundings. Long Chen's mind sank into the primal chaos space. He cut off several branches from a world tree forming a canoe. 
He then applied a lot of medicinal powders and crushed spiritual pills onto the bottom of the boat. He wanted to bait the scarlet blood spirit fish to him. Once he was done with this, he inscribed runes onto the bottom of the canoe with the powders. These runes could fully unleash the odor of the medicinal powders and also keep their essence within the runes. Once this was done, Long Chen released the canoe onto the lake. He crushed a large mass of medicinal pills and released them slowly into the water. Very quickly, a shocking scene appeared. Countless scarlet blood spirit fish began slowly swimming out of the bottom of the lake and toward Long Chen. This time, Long Chen had used over 700 kinds of fragrant powders as well as various spiritual fruits and flowers. These all posed a fatal attraction to the scarlet blood spirit fish. Heavens, is that a fish king up in the sky? Hua Zigwang saw it clearly. Long Chen's position was covered in blood-colored figures, but now a giant fish three meters long had appeared. One, two, three. There were over ten of those giant fish now. Long Chen was delighted. Those fish kings were the real treasure that he wanted. Just as he was about to pull them in, a figure suddenly flew through the air. He had a pair of wings on his back and an eagle's nose. He was clearly from the ancient races. Friend. Please leave, otherwise, don't blame me for what happens. That ancient race expert had just appeared and hadn't even gotten close before Hua Zigwang appeared in front of him. He ignored Hua Zigwang, looking at where Long Chen was. There are actually scarlet blood spirit fish. Ha ha ha. The ancient race expert laughed loudly, his aura erupting. Killing intent filled the air. Hua Zigwang was startled and infuriated. He slashed his sword at this expert but he simply sneered. Long Chen, you want to get the scarlet blood spirit fish? Keep dreaming. The ancient race expert refused to fight with Hua Zigwang. After unleashing his killing intent, he soared into the sky, vanishing like a phantom. Once his killing intent was released, those scarlet blood spirit fish that Long Chen had lured over were instantly startled away. They fled, vanishing without a trace. The speed at which they fled defied imagination. Bastard. Upon seeing that many scarlet blood spirit fish be frightened away by that ancient race expert, Hua Zigwang's expression was ugly. Sorry, I'm too useless. I should have directly killed him instead of warning him. Apologized Hua Zigwang. He was ashamed. Even if you had attacked without a warning, it would have been the same. Your killing intent would have frightened off the scarlet blood spirit fish. Their too wary Long Chen shook his head. He wasn't that angry. Things rarely went smoothly for him in the first place. He was used to it. Then what should we do now? That bastard's too fast. He might come back in a bit, said Hua Zigwang worriedly. He really is troublesome. His ability at running is quite amazing, but his actual power isn't very great. For someone like him to appear, it means there's a problem. Maybe the gate to the yin-yang world has already fully opened, and other experts are pouring in. How's this? You go in the direction that he fled to guard. I feel like he most likely went to inform other experts from the ancient races. I will try to lure the fish over one more time, while also using a soul art to try to hypnotize them. This time, there can't be any failure. If you see anyone from the ancient races, you know what to do. Long Chen took a deep breath, forming hand seals. His spiritual strength spread rapidly. He tossed entire medicinal pills into the lake. Chapter 1820 Long Chen's Anger Translator Born to be Long Chen's spiritual strength sank into the water along with the medicinal pills. He felt his spiritual strength rapidly running out. This lake was extremely strange. Fortunately, Long Chen's spiritual strength was strong enough to last for a while. As the medicinal pills sank to the bottom, through his soul, Long Chen noticed that the bottom of the lake was a land of rocky caves like a bee's nest, yet it was also like coral. These stones had strange marks on them, not looking natural. There was an endless flow of spiritual chi coming out of the rocks. Is this lake something someone specifically set up to raise the scarlet blood spirit fish? Long Chen had a sudden thought. The formations and rules of this lake were strangely and coincidentally set up for these fish. If that was the case. Who was the master? There were oddities everywhere in the yin-yang world. Long Chen sent one of the pills into one of the caves. Through it, he could even see some of the scarlet blood spirit fish hiding in the depths of the cave. 
These scarlet blood spirit fish were hiding in their own secluded caves, but as he went deeper into the cave system, he saw that the caves grew larger, as did the scarlet blood spirit fish living within them. The fish eyed his pill, they swam around it, but they didn't eat it. He knew that these fish were sensing danger because his spiritual strength was attached to it. They were truly sensitive. His strand of spiritual strength was extremely well hidden, but they could still sense it. Fish brothers, please hurry. Otherwise, more idiots will be coming to disturb us. We don't have much time. Long Chen prayed inside. However, the scarlet blood spirit fish refused to bait. All of Long Chen's urging had no use. Finally, one of the scarlet blood spirit fish that was about a foot long swallowed one of the pills in one bite. After devouring it, it quickly returned to hide in its cave. With the first one taking a bite, the others quickly gobbled up the rest. They also warily returned to their caves after swallowing the pills. Long Chen's pills continued to spread, and more of the scarlet blood spirit fish devoured them. These were all pills containing precious medicinal ingredients of great spirituality. They were naturally great bait. Finally, one of the fish kings that was three meters long lowered its guard enough to swallow these pills. Seeing this, Long Chen was delighted. The fish king didn't feel anything strange after devouring the pills, but as the pills gradually dissolved inside the fish's bodies, they began to feel sleepy, almost as if they were intoxicated. They began slowly swimming to the surface. These fish had their minds muddled after consuming his pills. The trace of spiritual strength he had left on the medicinal pills was now controlling their souls, making them swim up. One of the fish kings flopped out of the water, landing in his little boat. It lay there motionlessly. I'll have to think of something. Long Chen had a sudden thought. The fish king vanished, reappeared in his spiritual space. Its soul had been controlled by him and it was like his houseboat. Just at this moment, the heaven-flipping seal released a wave of light that enveloped the fish king in his spiritual space. The fish king vanished along with the heaven-flipping seal. The heaven-flipping seal entered the primal chaos space. When it did, Long Chen almost cheered. The scarlet blood spirit fish really had been brought into the primal chaos space, and it was still alive. It didn't seem affected at all. It was still well and alive. Yes. This is great. Long Chen was ecstatic. The primal chaos space let him grow vegetation, but living magical beasts couldn't enter. This time, he was just experimenting, but it had really succeeded. He immediately created a 10 mile empty pool in the primal chaos space. A large wooden barrel began drawing the lake's water into the primal chaos space. Before, Hua Zigwang had said that the lake water was special, it could be gathered slowly. But if he went too quickly, it would touch upon the laws of this place. After dozens of barrels of water, there was a small pool of water. He released the fish king inside it and loosened his control. At first, it panicked, swimming around chaotically. It even jumped onto land and flopped several times before returning to the pool. Once there, it quickly calmed down. It seemed it didn't dislike the environment of the primal chaos space. After all, the spiritual chi inside was very dense. The scarlet blood spirit fish calmed down, delighting Long Chen. He had no time to take out any more water because the rest of the pills he had thrown out had been eaten. His spiritual strength circulated, and thousands of scarlet blood spirit fish began swimming toward his boat because he was controlling their souls. One after another, the fish king appeared out of the water. Long Chen drew them into his spiritual space while the heaven-flipping seal brought them into the primal chaos space. More and more of them were surrounding Long Chen. They were jumping into his boat. The first ones he gathered were the fish king. The small pool in the primal chaos space grew quickly. The fish kings flopped chaotically, some flying far away. Fortunately, the spiritual chi in the air of the primal chaos space was so dense that even on land, they had enough spiritual chi to absorb and wouldn't die. Suddenly. Long Chen's expression changed. He sensed the power of a divine item erupting. Someone had come, and Hua Zigwang was most likely attacking. Bastard. Long Chen cursed inside. These scarlet blood spirit fish were special beasts, and controlling them with his spiritual strength was a delicate task. Too much spiritual strength and they would die. Moreover, the dead ones would of their essence quickly fade away. 
Controlling them had been like using a giant plier to do embroidery. He was surrounded by scarlet blood spirit fish. But if he tried to gather them all at once, all he would obtain was a pile of dead fish. Long Chen. Die. Suddenly, a sharp aura locked onto Long Chen. That winged ancient race expert had returned. He was like a bolt of lightning. His sharp claw aiming for the back of Long Chen's head. You really are courting death. Long Chen was infuriated. He smashed a fist at him, but unexpectedly, this person was just fainting. His wings flapped, and he flew past Long Chen, grabbing the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish. He managed to catch over ten of them. However, he had just done that when Long Chen pointed a finger. A bolt of lightning shot out, causing the winged expert's expression to completely change. He sensed the terrifying power of divine lightning. His wings flapped again and he suddenly fled into the opposite direction, narrowly avoiding Long Chen's attack. Just as he was forced to run, a spiritual arrow shot at Long Chen. What infuriated Long Chen the most was that this new attacker was from the righteous path. Right now, Long Chen's spiritual strength was focused on the scarlet blood spirit fish. Now that he was disturbed, either all the fish would die or he would be forced to let them run. Furthermore, once they were scared away, these fish would never return. They were such wary beasts that they wouldn't fall for the same trick twice. This person was forcing Long Chen to abandon the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish. At the same time, he sensed several powerful auras rushing over here. Clearly, they had been summoned by this birdman of the ancient races. He had definitely spread word of the Scarlet Blood Spirit Fish so that Long Chen couldn't get them. Since you want to die, I'll help you out. Long Chen's gaze was icy cold. His spiritual strength relaxed, releasing the scarlet blood spirit fish. They immediately vanished from sight. Buzz. A lightning blade appeared in Long Chen's hand, slashing apart the spiritual attack. His figure vanished as he rushed toward that righteous expert. His lightning blade slashed down mercilessly. That righteous expert sneered, and a blood-colored saber appeared in his hand. Divine light shone from it and he slashed at Long Chen, borrowing Long Chen's power to fly back. He had no intention of fighting Long Chen head-on, and he was confident in being able to get away. Ignorant and fearless boom. Long Chen's lightning blade suddenly exploded as it met the blood-colored saber. Thousands of bolts of lightning spread in every direction. The righteous expert had used the force behind Long Chen's blow to run away. He was still sneering. Just at this moment, a lightning hand pierced through his back and out his chest. That hand was now covered in sticky blood, but that blood was quickly vaporized by the thunder force. The righteous expert stared in shock at his chest. Suddenly, he exploded as the lightning arm shook. A berserk energy turned him into bloody mist. Ancient race idiot, if I don't kill you today, I won't be called Long Chen. Long Chen's eyes were gloomy as he stared at a distant shocked bird man.